that and um yeah football. They blow the whistle. False start. But uh right. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WZR TV Tuesday. Yes, sir. The yes, real host sir. of this shindig is making his way into the room. Oh my god. And let's let him babble for a while. Oh. Rain and snow and plugs and Hello. Hey now. Hey now! What's up, man? Let's, let's we, start uh, the show. Yes! Let's start! What's going on, brother? Hey! WCR TV Tuesday. It should be noted. This right here, what we just did on camera? Ah, uh, the shield. Something with the shield. Go ahead. We just did this on camera for about five years now. We've done that before. We've been no, doing that. Yeah. For the year that I've been here on TV, we've done that. But back <sighs> six years ago when I lived in New York the last time, before every radio show, we would knuckle, bu knuckle bump, as yeah. they call it. Yeah. And that was our fist way to bump. Fist, fist bump, bump, fist bump. That's how we would get started. No, a fist pump is the, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 you're right, fist bump, when oh, they do that. Right. They call that the fist bump. I know it from oh. Howard Stern, because he's a germaphobe. He won't shake hands, so he'll have to do that. <coughs> Howie Mandel, too. Yeah. But uh, either way, yeah, we would do that for uh, shit. Back, uh, the last time I lived in New York, I lived in New York three times. Mm. The second time was about 2000, oh, God, I just want to say six, 2007, somewhere in there. It was... A good five, six years ago, right? When, do you even know? East Greenbush, uh, East Greenbush, Albany was like 10 or 15. Al Albany was right after 9-11. I yeah. know that, because people thought I was it's crazy for flying to New York. Yeah, that's 13 years ago? Yeah, that was my first time in New York. Ago. I was 17. I wasn't even old enough to buy cigarettes yet, and I was moving out in my own fucking 2,000 miles away from my family. Yeah. But uh, no, the second time, that's when we started doing that. Because we weren't doing WZR when I first moved in 2001. Mm. We had done it. I think we had started in 2001, but I don't remember. You know what? We did. Because I, uh, I would have to bribe... What was his name? Gene? Oh, God. Is yeah, that his I name? I remember him. I remember I would have to bribe him yeah. with a blunt to give me a ride to your mom's house mm. uh, to do WZR. Yeah. And we would sneak out the window on commercials <coughs> and smoke weed. And then we would come back in. Yeah, he would always want something. If you if he had to drive you somewhere, he would always. He would want no. Something. It was money. It was gas money. Gas money or. And something. you got to just roll a blunt and and uh, smoke then, it then that would set him straight. Yeah, yeah right. And it was chronic blunts, so those were expensive. Yeah. Hey. All right. So here we go. Listen, <laughs> I uh, man, I, I gotta tell you, uh, <laughs> last night uh, we got you know, Wi-Fi back. Yes, we do have Wi-Fi back. Yeah, uh, in the that afternoon, chat room. You gotta give me a little tilt here. I can't see it. In though. the afternoon yesterday, I started feeling like crap. It was just I knew something was uh, was coming on, and then uh, man, I got up this morning at six thirty, six forty-five. Second day in a row, six forty-five in the morning. Dude, are my you noticing body, what I'm noticing here? And then you can get to your I'm sick thing. I'm a little bit dark, but that's all right. You're dark, and I'm ghostly, Michael Jackson White. You don't go out. Do anything outside? Well, I go outside. Than me. Just walk in and out. What's your nationality? You what, I don't even the know. The sun's been. But you know what it is, man. I ride with the uh, with the windows down in the car. Yeah, but I your feel, arms are like and everything. I feel the sun. You only get one arm. On me. Yeah. So yeah. all right. So what's your nationality? I don't even know. Uh, I'm American. No, no, no. Irish, <laughs> Italian. This I'm uh, Irish. I'm Irish. I really am. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Garrett is one hundred percent Irish. Are we Irish? Are we Irish? Oh man! Oh, wow. All right, here we That's go. Uh, subject. Get to uh, WZR tapped, online. Guys. WZROnline. dot com slash chat. Com. Once again, WZROnline. dot com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people tonight. Oh, uh, here's what we're gonna oh, be doing. Sorry, dude. Here's what. Stop. Here's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we are gonna be talking uh, WWE Extreme Rules from this past Sunday night. Monday night Raw was in Albany, New York, last night as well. I gotta tell you. Um, Man, Albany last night. It was it was one of those shows. We where didn't go. It was like yeah, we didn't go. It was so busy on uh, on yesterday with uh, post extreme rules and and everything else that went down. So it was just it was nonstop throughout the uh, throughout the day yesterday. So Fuck. live chat room on and in progress. WZROnline.com slash chat. Motherfucking dot com. Once again, WZROnline.com slash chat. Yes. Um, Get so into it. Come begin. on. I know. Uh, we're gonna uh, we've got the uh, the rapid fire segment back. Um, uh, Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. We'll be giving that out here in just a little bit in our numero dos. We're gonna be taking your uh, live phone calls as well. So rapid fire questions and live phone calls as well. Uh, let's get the plugs out of the way. The official website of WZR TV Tuesdays. 
WZRonline.com. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZRArmy. Twitter.com, YouTube.com slash WZR Archive. Go to WZRonline.com, top navigation bar, drop down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZRonline.com, oh. the official website, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. I really do look really white, though. I can't wait till that Sorry. fucking pool opens out there and I can go do some tanning. I, I don't like I'm, I'm part Italian mm. and part Native American. I should be brown as shit even when I'm not tan. Yeah. I don't like what I'm seeing in this camera right here. I wish it the chat room... It just may be the camera angle with the, uh, with the lights. You know? Yeah, but you don't look as white as me and the same lights are on you. Uh, it does look darker. Something looks a little bit darker. It does the, a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah, like from the t-shirt uh, on almost. Uh, yeah. Oh, Let's on. make that excuse because I don't like what I'm seeing. Yeah, maybe it's that. I don't maybe like the whiteness. Like Anyways, all right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what you think of uh, Extreme Rules <coughs> from uh, from this Extreme past Rules was in uh, was at the Izod Center in East Rutherford, New yes. Jersey. I thought top to bottom. If I'm doing an overall grade, <coughs> I'm actually well, stalling for time because I'm trying to remember how the show went. It was it was a solid show. They was uh, it because I, I don't the, remember it that well. Uh, the Cena Bray Wyatt. And we didn't thing drink, was, so I don't was, know why I don't. But yeah, Cena Bray Wyatt thing was just corny. Very. Oh very god, corny. the finish was the atrocious. Was I wrote about that today, eresslingnews.com column. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, uh, other than that, I mean, I know the Evol- Evolution and Shield was an awesome. Yeah, that was a great match. Um, the pre-show match, the WLC, mm-hmm. as. Let's put it this way. The commentary was ridiculous. It was exactly what you would think. It would be a ton of bad jokes, fake laughter from Michael Cole trying to sell how it's funny, bad puns, you know, midget puns, mini puns, wee person, little person, whatever you want to call them, puns. Um, but the match in general, I thought was it was fun. Yeah. You know, which is what WWE really, at the end of the day, that's what WWE is. They're they're fun. It's it's It's... They say you suspend your disbelief. If you got problems in your life, if your girl just broke your heart, or if your fucking your cousin just died, or, or whatever's going on, you can turn your TV on. You can sit there for three hours, watch a pay per view, watch Raw, whatever the fuck, and you can forget about your problems and just have fun and enjoy some some sports entertainment. <laughs> well, that's what it is. Some pro wrestling. Yeah. Right. But at the yeah. same time, it is... No, it really... WWE is sports entertainment. I'll say that. I mean, they're not pro wrestling. I grew up on pro wrestling. WWE is sports entertainment. Right. You would never see, like, last night's Raw, and I know I'm jumping ahead, you would never see that Cinco de Mayo, Los Matadors, 3MB segment on a pro wrestling show when I was growing up. Ever. Yeah. That's sports entertainment, even though it wasn't entertaining, but you would classify it as sports entertainment. I thought that uh, Extreme Rules overall, you know, it was pretty good. I thought it, yeah. It, was, it, it wasn't uh, great, but it, it actually, it was a, you know what, now that I'm starting to remember, I'm looking at the matches in my head, the, 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 the lineup. You know what, I've got our uh, predictions. It, it was a good I card. I saved those last I week. thought they were on a notepad file. They are on a piece of paper. No, I put them in here, yeah, we wrote them on a Oh, uh, God. Paper. Why don't we skip predictions this week? Why? What do you mean, why? Oh, you didn't beat nobody. There was a typo. You. you wrote down the wrong match for me like three no. times. So. No. No, uh, you didn't. All hey, right. Hey, hey, listen, I've gloated and bragged for uh, up till this point, all right? He's about to I get into them. it. Up until this I point. Saved them. Up until this point, every pay-per-view we've covered, we've done predictions. I've been right not only on each individual show, but overall, my record's way ahead of his. And then Extreme Rules came and went, and... Did I beat you when we run down? I don't know. I was trying to think of it in my head during Raw while I'm writing it, because they kept showing highlights of it, and I'm like, you know what? Oh, shit, I didn't pick that guy to win. Mm. Oh, fuck, he did. Oh, God, you know, so I, I'm pretty sure you, you... Not only did you win, I think you kicked my ass a little bit. Did, uh... We'll go through it, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my recollection okay, is you okay. got two right... Uh, two more right than me. Okay. Well, we agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I we'll run it down. Right. We'll run it down from top to bottom. Uh, overall, school letter grade from uh, from myself, I would say a solid, a solid B plus. Yeah. I thought it was a really. I mean, as far as the wrestling was concerned, it was a good show. It was. Uh, I hated the finish of uh, John Cena Bray Wyatt. Yeah, yeah. And I hated that whole night, match. Last night on uh, on Raw, there was so many promos. Uh, on Raw last night. It seemed like everybody that came out to the ring was a promo segment. And then not only that, but it was the Shield 
Bray Wyatt or the Wyatt Family show where up into all right, there was no John Cena at all on Raw last night. He well, that was done after. by design. You know why? Because they're trying to get people to order the network yes. for if you, their Zima biggest star. Man. If you want to see his first reaction to losing, right. To Bray Wyatt, you have to be on the WWE Network because that's where you get to see main event. Right. So right. we're going to keep him off Raw and promote that his... And, and they even said John Cena responds was how they promoted it right, right. on main event. So the only way to see that is to be a Network Now, Cena, Cena comes out after uh, after Raw last night. And, and listen, the reason for that is... I mean, listen. That's slow. A lot, a lot of us may be older and we could care less if John Cena is there. But... Yeah, there are I mean, I like to see lot, some of the segments. Sometimes. There are a lot of families, a lot of mothers and fathers that take their children yes. to WWE live events. They buy the shirts. And they, they the, want yeah. to see John Cena because the kids, uh, John Cena's over the with girls. kids. We know that. And the girls yeah. as well. And when kids go to a WWE event and Monday Night Raw goes off the air last night, somebody on my Facebook page had put up that... They were so angry that John Cena wasn't there. And this was right at about 11.07, 11.10, saying, well, that sucked. My kid's, my kid's upset, yeah. you know? Well, uh, to and it, then, it's important, to, and, I, and I'm going to try and very be conscious of this this week, because last week, if you remember... You're doing it a lot, but that's okay. As if, you're already doing I it a lot. I try and add stuff okay. while you're in the middle of talking. I don't try and just cut you right. off and change topic, but... um. I just let you go. <laughs> yeah, no, you do it a lot too, and you don't acknowledge that. But I, you know, whatever. Not last week was just ridiculous. I was interrupt. We're talking about interruptions. I interrupt- talking about John Cena. We're real quick, but yeah, I'm interrupting <laughs> you to add a, a, a point. But I do want to address that last week we try and watch the archives when we have time if work isn't too busy because we like to we like to give you guys honestly we like to give them the best show we can. So we like to watch what we did. See what it seems like, sounds like, looks like, and oh, that kind of sucked. Let's not do that. That was pretty good. Let's do more of that. <coughs> it's not just a plug. It's a it's a real thing. We custom fit this show for your need. You know, for like you great say, fans. For you great fans. But um, yeah, no, John Cena, and he was also advertised locally. So you buy a ticket for your kid because uh, you know if you're an older mother, father, whatever, and you don't give a shit about pro wrestling. But your kid says, oh my god, mom, Raw's coming to town. I want to go see John Cena. Right. You buy the ticket, and he's not on Raw. Right. It's kind of fucking... It's, somebody put that up on Facebook last night. You could night. say it's false advertising. It. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they brought him out after the show was over last night, which is, yeah. like you said, for the kids, where their parents so bring them. So you get them, what you bought your ticket for. So that the kids don't go home upset. Yes. That's why a lot of times on the website, we put, to send the crowd home happy. Yeah. I should change that to, to send the kids home happy. <laughs> Well, well sometimes it's not just the kids, but yeah, I know what you mean. But they kept them off raw, like Boone said. They want you. Design. They want you to order the WWE Network, and they figure that if you're not signed up by now, and you're a fan, you're a fan of John Cena, uh, you need to sign up for the WWE Network to find out. Yeah, what, what he's, he's going to say, say for his first reaction. But there's it's also, and it's, it's part of a thing because they also started this new promotional effort. To offer gift cards, which they heavily plugged on Raw last right. night, absolutely for uh, free WWE merchandise. Uh, They're going to give out a lot of money. I'm thinking. Well, uh, I don't know. It's I don't. Two hundred fifty dollars if you get if you get ten people, but ten people. A. All right. I really think that a lot of people and a lot of people A don't understand this, and a lot of people B probably would disagree with it. Mm. When they were because they said they said at the last conference call, the uh, the first quarter call, a couple what was it last week? Uh, last Thursday, they right. said we're gonna consistently reveal each time our uh, network numbers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't expect them to be much higher than six hundred and sixty thousand, seven hundred, seven hundred fifty thousand. Don't expect that. We talked about this. We talked about this when those original numbers came out. That six hundred and fifty thousand or whatever it was, right? The majority of people in the United States had signed up because for WrestleMania, they kitchen synced it. They the, gave you everything at once. Now, if you didn't sign up for that, right? What right. do they? Have? Oh, I'm going to sign up because I'm going to get a free T-shirt. I no. would say when the second quarter comes around and they do another network announcement, I would say if it's at six hundred and fifty thousand now, six hundred and sixty-seven thousand. Six hundred and sixty-seven. I'll give them. I'll give them in this. I Maybe seven hundred. I was going to say seven fifty. No, and that's being generous. You're being very generous. If they get a hundred thousand oh. new subscribers. Being generous. I will say this. It's going to trickle up. Yeah, yeah. It's going to trickle down. 
And yeah, people are gonna after their six months. Yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. It's not those numbers. That's the key. Those numbers that we were telling you guys, that's not a good number. No. Although you see yeah. it on paper and you're like, wow, yeah, it's, it's not a bad number. Sixty-seven thousand people. Well, that's that's great. That's it, good. It's not. Yeah, good. it's a good number until you put it into perspective. Right. And when you realize what that number represents. What it represents. WrestleMania. The pay-per-views before that. The original sign-ups. All of that stuff. Yes. Now what? Now what? They've given you all of that. What do you have to You're entice signed people up. now that they've... You know. What do you got? What do you got after this? They've I already signed up for WrestleMania, so they've already got the pay-per-views for the next six months. They don't need to sign up for that. And if they didn't sign up for WrestleMania to get that pay-per-view, I sure as hell don't think they're signing up for payback. Maybe a few here and there, but... Though that's that's I'll, why numbers are gonna trickle. In. Yeah, I think they're gonna trickle down. I, I not only trickle down, but when the whenever you signed up, when your six month sub uh, 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 expires, right? I'm scared to see what that number looks like. But do I will people say, people re-sign up, or do people yeah, say, "Well, I've already well, signed up." Well, WrestleMania on. is over. Right, right. I'll just wait till you know, because a lot of people signed up. They're gonna, for, want, they're gonna want the pay per views, though. They're gonna want to see the pay per views. A lot of people might have because a lot. Listen, a lot of people buy WWE pay per views. Sure. But you're looking at 125,000, 250,000 on a good show versus a million for WrestleMania. Right. So your million for anybody that's buying WrestleMania also buys Extreme Rules, Payback, No Way Out, whatever the fuck. So when that subscription expires, the people that subscribe that annually before this network normally would only buy WrestleMania just to see, you know, that's that's the big Super Bowl. Do you think they're going to resubscribe? Oh, I got to see. Uh, give me a shitty name of a show. Uh, I gotta see uh, TLC. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, I will say that. Let me get back. Real quick, this is what I've been waiting to get out. Um, when when we were talking about the uh, the I want to get back to your original point. Yeah, that's my right. When when they reveal the number at the next conference call, right? I said seven hundred thousand. You know, you said seven fifty. I said seven fifty is being generous. I said seven fifty is being generous too. But now that I rethink it, you're right. It'll at least be. Not at least, but it'll, I'm guessing about 750. Sounds about perfect. Why? Mm. Ultimate Warrior died, mm. and they did Warrior Week on the network. That's true. And that's going to lure true. some people in to see the documentary. And it sounds like a lot of people. A lot of people probably heard about that documentary yeah. and signed up because people they that were fans it was. way back in the day that don't give a shit about today's product, which I used to right. be for a very long stretch of time. Right. When I wasn't doing this show with you, and it was Richard Gray and all those other guys. Right. I didn't give a shit about Raw and SmackDown every week. I didn't give a shit about every pay-per-view every month. Right. But if a new documentary DVD came out, I would I would watch that. I mean, you know, let, 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 let me say it. this. They're going to they're gonna be <laughs> adding, you know, people in the chat room talking about libraries, like the, uh, the Mid-South library is going to be added. What's that really? But, gonna but listen, yeah. in 2014, you got a lot of younger fans that don't give two fucks about the Mid South Library. They don't care. Sure, some of these older fans, uh, older fans, very and, small and number, people like that. But they're the diehard fans. They're the pro wrestling. They're already signed up for not the even, network. Maybe they're already not. signed up. No, maybe not. But how many people that aren't already signed up that are so diehard for their era of wrestling? When right. I was a kid and I watched Memphis. I don't think they own Memphis shit, the tape library. But let's just say Memphis. Lawler's uh, Lawler's working on. Yeah, it's uh, a, they're about to own it. Right, right, you're right. But uh, that's just the example I'm going to use because Memphis okay. was wildly popular in that area. Okay. If they didn't sign up and they're the, they're a diehard fan today, they signed up for WrestleMania and all the stuff that we talked about. Sure, right. They're not a diehard fan today, but they were back in the day. They didn't sign up because they don't care about today. When Memphis comes, they're going to sign up. How many of those people do you really think there are? Because that's a local, regional right. amount of people. It's and, not a lot. And then it's you scale that down even more because it's older people that remember this stuff from childhood, teen years, 20 years, you know, 20 And a lot of those years. people are already signed up for the network. They're probably yeah. already signed up. They probably... Well, no. Let me get back to I'm the talking about part. the demographic that, that, that they didn't sign up because they don't care about wrestling today. They don't care about anything. They just... All right. Oh, Memphis is going to be added? Oh, I remember Memphis. When I don't like wrestling. I haven't liked wrestling for twenty years, but I did back when and, you know when I was a kid. Memphis wrestling when I would go to the shows. I'll sign up for that. That's a let me, thousand let me people, make, five thousand people. Yeah, it's you know, not that many. It's not. Let me make two points. Let me what make you two hold points your real hand? quick. Uh, oh, those are yours. I got them. How the hell did that happen? No, you asked me where your six were. She went down and got them. Oh, I said I had them okay. in my pocket. Your point was going to be. Uh, I got I got two points. Uh, John Morgan. Uh, in the chat room, makes a good point that 
DirecTV and Dish Network recently said we're not carrying Extreme Rules. So, an ATTU-verse. An ATTU-verse. So, how do you shut the, uh, the sound off here? Work on that. So, with that being said, the people that were ordering on DirecTV or that were still ordering on Dish ne- Network, and God knows why they would because you're paying $40 versus $10 with the WWE Network, but some of those people are now going to be forced to say, you know what? Direct TV, Dish Network, they don't they're not offering the pay-per-views. Now you I gotta help now I gotta sign up for the network. So that may help the number. Now, back to your original point where we first got started on yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. thing, and then we're gonna get into extreme rules. Talking about promotions. There's a reason why they just ended a WWE network free trial. And then they did another yeah, WWE network free trial. Time. And then they did another and now they've got another one ongoing. There's a reason why it's a bad they're sign. doing it. It's a very bad sign. They're desperate to try to get sign-ups and by, by offering these promotions. Like Malcolm X, by any means necessary. By any means necessary. Yeah. There are companies where they will offer you know, a promotion. But the promotion ends and you don't hear about another promotion for a couple of months. Okay. Yeah. They're doing it one after another. After they don't make another, it ob- after another. The, the companies you're talking about don't make it obvious that they're desperate. Right. WWE I mean, is saying this promotion. We got this promotion. Yeah. This promotion. This promotion. It's one promotion after another, and the reason for that is because they're worried about the numbers, and they want to get as many people. And they figure if we offer promotions, more people are yeah bound to sign up in in, in their opinion but so if you're a kid it's not they're and, not good yeah if you're a kid and you couldn't convince your mom to sign up already for wrestlemania whatever the for fuck. wrestlemania they're kind of screwed oh but mom i'll get a free ray mysterio <laughs> mask <laughs> right, yeah. okay yeah. son no yeah, right. that's that's yeah, not happening you know <laughs> listen, it's not a free to the, and especially if that's the scenario which i'm you know that that would be a small case small example Mom, right. I can get a free T-shirt, a free Rey Mysterio mask, whatever. If you sign me up, it's not free because they got to sign up for six months. So that's sixty dollars right. to give your kid a Rey Mysterio mask, a T-shirt for John Cena, whatever the fuck. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So if you were going to convince your parents, if you're a kid, right. to sign up, you would have done it with all the stuff you, that they've already offered. If you're a teenager, you have already signed up yourself or convince your parents if you're still at home. It'll be interesting if yeah. the second quarter comes around and they review I, I really think brother. it's, it's going to be very interesting. We haven't peaked yet because it'll go right. higher than 667. Sort of when they go no, international, it'll absolutely. go higher. But then the, 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 uh, the, the costs will increase too. They wanted three to four million, bro. They wanted three to four million to have huge. this thing making money. Yeah. I think right now... If these numbers, okay, the original number came out, and as soon as that number came out, I looked at it when I'm Facebook, and I said, "Yo, it may look good on paper, but these are not good In numbers." Perspective. And everybody, yeah. a lot of it, not everybody, but a lot of people disagreed with me yeah. and said, "You are crazy." Six hundred sixty-seven thousand people. That is awesome. But if you look at the whole picture, how they got that six hundred sixty-seven thousand yeah. with WrestleMania, with the original, yes. you know, launch of the network, after that. You're going to go from 667, and then those numbers are going to trickle in, trickle in, trickle in, and then six months is going to come up, and, they and go they're going to go way down. They're going to go down. I don't think it's going to sign up. trickle down. I think when that six months of shit expires, right. it's going down. You're, going, you're losing a lot of people. 75, 100,000 people. Right, right. Boom, right it's there. It's not that you wanted in, in WWE's mindset, WWE, the day after WrestleMania, when they released those numbers, they yeah. were hoping. They were hoping for at least a million, and they wanted to go out and show the well, stockholders and the investors and everybody else, hey, this is what we thought we were going to yeah. get. We got over a million. We got a million, whatever. That's what they were hoping, and then build from there. They only got 660. Eight. It's not good. It's, 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 not, it's, it's an okay number, but... It was a great number without... Looking at it in context, when you put it in context, it's a fucking not good it's number. Not a good number in yeah. context. Yeah, and they were needing one to two million, I think, <coughs> domestically, you know, locally, uh, North America. Not even a, that's not even available in Canada yet, right? So just not America, just America for this year, right? I don't think you're getting close to a million. I think you've. Y- they haven't seen their best. No, days. when they launch in the in the UK, in Canada, Australia. Yeah. They're going to probably peak out. I would say they peak out. Okay, in the United Kingdom and Canada, if you combine the UK and Canada, you're going to match the United States numbers. So that right there, you've got about 1.2, 1.3 million subscribers. I would say you're probably going to max out at about 
five million, and they wanted three to four. This is with overseas yeah. and everything. You're talking Canada. You're talking the UK. You're talking America, yeah. Australia. All these. You're gonna max out at about one point four, one point five. Is is my you're talking my guess. Everywhere. You're when talking with our numbers mixed with theirs? 1.5? Our numbers mixed with everybody okay, else's. Okay, I agree with that. Overseas, yeah, I think yeah, we're yeah. going to max out. The network is going to max out at 1.4, well, 1.5, which is not profitable. If they stick with it, it's not, not going to max out at 1.5 because they'll keep going and eventually it'll slowly, I mean very slowly, Let's say, grow. But okay. some of these international companies, they've got deals for pay per views with right where they're they can't they offer can't the, just go off you, right they can't just offer the pay per views for yep. free on this network yep it's not allowed although they had that in, in America <coughs> here and and they just they just so they breached the contract basically but never got sued I still haven't figured that one out but real quick see. we gotta okay. mention okay. another bad sign with the network is they fired they fired the head right the vice president you know, of you know. programming. And they, they tried. They tried to keep that under wraps. Yeah. And it came out in the past week that they let him go. So that that's um, another sign where it's like, yo, yeah. this guy wasn't getting what we needed. So they, we gotta fucking find somebody. We gotta do find we somebody else. There's so many it. signs where and it's like this thing is not going how they wanted. Although they'll look, spin it like it is it. when they talk to their investors with the and press their, releases. Their stockholders. You see it at the quarter one, quarter two, quarter yes. three, quarter. Five. You see it at the conference calls. Well, all you the don't time see it there. Where they spin this stuff to oh, make yeah, it yeah. sound yeah, ten yeah. times better than what it is. Yes. And if you're dumb enough to believe what they're spewing, what is the company going to come out and say, hey, our fourth quarter last year, oh, it sucked, it was well, terrible. The thing is, of course most- not. They're going to spin it to make it sound good. Yeah. Well, let me say that. And then we got to get into... Uh, yeah, yeah, we got to hear that. I'm going to say 1.4, 1.5 million with everybody, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, United States. I'm going to say 1.4, 1.5 million. That's where you're going to max out. I like that number. Buy. Now, yeah. with the being maxed out there and you wanted 3 million, 4 million for the thing to be profitable. When it was international. When it was international. Yeah, three, four. As a whole, you wanted 3, 4 million people. There's a big difference between 1.5 million and that's half of what they wanted. Yeah. So... So half of the low end, you gotta somehow, yeah. you gotta somehow make that up. How are they gonna do it? Price raise. I wouldn't be surprised to see you a raise price the price and reduce the uh, original reduce program the content. Yeah. You're, gonna, you're gonna see a lot of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. They were already talking in the last couple of weeks about raising the price of the network by a couple of dollars in 2015. Yeah. So just locally, right? Yeah. So they're already talking about raising the price. They're already talking so when about they launch internationally, it might not be a ten dollar thing. It, it might may be, not oh, be for, for twenty dollars. Right. The I, I think, network. And not only that, but they for, should for have them, done that out of the sh- gate. It should have been twenty dollars. It should have been yes. twenty dollars out of the gate. That would have exactly. changed a lot of these problems because they, they would right. The break even yes. number would have been a whole lot lower if you doubled ten dollars to twenty. For and it ten still dollars, would have been a steal because you're getting a. Sixty-five, whatever seventy-dollar WrestleMania pay-per-view, ten dollars for, for twenty bucks. Not just WrestleMania. You're talking but that's five the major selling point initially, right. and right. then yeah, on top of WrestleMania, you get all this other shit. But that's great. Why not? Why not taking your selling point and being for twenty dollars, you get the sixty-dollar WrestleMania pay-per-view for twenty dollars. You get the payback. You get the Extreme Rules. You get all these pay-per-views yes. for twenty dollars. Plus, in addition to pay-per-views, you get all this content. For twenty dollars, so you get them for forty because the whole year is forty. Okay, right. if you do twenty dollars subscription for so oh no no no, it would have been. Wait wait wait, what am I saying? Uh, ten dollars a month, but sixty dollars for six months, and right. you have to spend the sixty for so. So it would have been one hundred and twenty. Let's say it's two hundred and forty. If you could whip a calculator, out, I don't know, but uh, sixty dollars for WrestleMania, and then what's the normal pay per view? Forty five, about thirty forty dollars. If you do HD, if, if you do high def, it's about forty dollars. And, and do. there was a study that was done that like seventy percent of their pay per view buys that Are the numbers did report two hundred thousand, hundred twenty five thousand. Seventy percent of those were HD. Really? Yeah. Everybody ordered. I was shocked by that too. I was like, so wow, I would get the cheaper one. I'm not a tech junkie where right, I need to see right, somebody right. sweat or their zit or something. You know what I mean? Like. As long as I could see what's going on, I could give a but shit. But they were willing to pay that extra money for high definition, yeah. so they'd be willing to pay it for the network as you well. Think. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's crazy. So I think the WWE Network, as of right now, and they're not going to come out and admit this, but I think they're thinking in the back of their heads, man, we got to do something. And they fired their, their main and uh, vice president. They're, they're getting rid of people. Uh, they're ta- already talking about raising the price, this, that, and the other thing. 
They got to. They got to do it because if it fails, they got to go crawling back there to Directv and Dish Network and everybody else. There it is. And Directv and Dish Network is gonna say, "Yo, fuck you, you guys fucked us." And it's and not so much said, "Screw you." Now, if you want to come back to us, that whole fifty-fifty split or whatever the split That's was. It. We're doing a 70-30 split, and we're taking That's 70%. The point. You're getting 30%. And it wouldn't be that dramatic. Because, It'd be something like that. Yeah, right, right. because they would know they'd still make tons of millions and millions of dollars. Even with per a 60-40 split, something like that. Right? But, yeah, they would know, oh, they need us now. As opposed to, they oh, maybe maybe this thing works, right. and they right. don't need us, you know. Yeah. Let's get into it, bro. Let's go. Game rules from this past Sunday night. Like I said, I gave it about a B plus, man. I'll, so I'll agree with that. Now that I, I've rethought the card in my head, I didn't even say I thought right. it sucked. I just couldn't remember it. Is what I was saying, right. and, that, and I started picturing the matches, and I'm like, oh, 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 that's right, it was a good show. I right. got a terrible memory. We got uh, Hornswoggle and El Torito. I gotta give these. I love it. Let me tell you something. I love it. I gotta say, the announcers on commentary, commentary. a little bit yeah. annoying. What they have? Uh, micro, micro cold, micro cold, Jerry Smaller, and uh, JB Elf. We be oh uh, JB Elf. Yeah, they, but they uh -huh. changed the names. They started off. Oh, they started off with one name, right? And they changed <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, true. during. It was almost like the midgets forgot yeah. what they were supposed to be called, or somebody no, on no, gorilla. Somebody uh, backstage came up with better names. Better names during like the show. They were just yeah. joking and clowning around, like, why don't we call them JB Elf instead of Weeby or something? I gotta say, give it up for Hornswoggle and El Torito. They took bump after bump yeah. after bump. They, they fucking killed each and other. The comedy was, I, will, I don't want to say funny, but it was fun. Bro, there was it a was spot. fun. There was a spot they had an announce table on the outside and they stacked it up with like chairs. They had the mini ladders and the mini yeah. mini everything like Step we had, ladders, mini like chairs, we had planned, mini right? Table, yeah. But dude, they fucking murdered each other. These I love it. There was one spot where uh, I forget who they climbed up on a ladder and it reminded me of SummerSlam when Shawn Michaels first came back after five, six, whatever the fuck it was from his back injury, and he faced Triple H SummerSlam. Right. And he got on a, on a ladder, and he was getting ready to jump off and put Triple H <coughs> on the table, and he looked at the crowd like, and he did like this. He said, Yeah, <laughs> what are you going to do? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> like, fuck it. Here I go. You know, my back's fucked up, but here I go. I remember seeing a spot in a match where one of the midgets, little people, whatever, got got up on the top of the ladder, and he had a look. It might have been El Torito, so there was no look on his face, but... It, you know, no, it was Hornswoggle. Because I remember a look on the face, like, holy shit. Where you went up there, up, like, hey. I'm way up here. <laughs> and the announcers were selling it like the biggest thing ever, like they did every spot in the match. And then that, that was supposed to be what was funny. But it was just cute. He's, like, fucking two feet off the ground. It's like, <laughs> you know, he didn't do that. But that was basically like, here I go. Oh, fuck, I hope I'm okay. I and, oh, I jumped two feet. You know. They had the mini tables. They had the mini chairs and everything else yeah. that were out there. I thought it was cool. The it ending, was very fun. The ending spot where uh, El Torito came off onto the outside, right? It was a uh, game. There was an announce booth on the outside. I thought right? it was in the ring. There was a table splash. They did something on the outside. I thought that was yeah, the Well, thing. those two big bumps on the outside, which were... A couple of tables, and it was the big guys. 3MB right. on one side, Los Matadors on the other. As I remember it, and you got the report from All right, Torito, Torito hit a Horn's Lago with a chair, another slam, slammed uh, Slater's head into the chair, and then did a springboard desk press into the ring. Horn's Lago put him through a table. So in Horn's Lago did, that was in the ring. Yeah, now, right. The two big so, spots you're thinking of were on the opposite the, side, the announcer's table side and the opposite side. Uh, 3MB went through the opposite side, I believe, and in Los Matadors, there was a sick bump there, where, and it's even hard to describe, but it was like this crazy, like, they could get killed kind of thing, right, right and right. you're trying to keep it cute and funny and all that, and, it, and it's like, oh man, there, there, there could be something very not funny happening right. here, but no, it turned out okay. So the winner? I thought it was very fun. The winner? El Torito. Yeah, I know I picked Torito. El Torito, brother. You picked Horny? I picked Horny. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what so maybe saying. I do beat you. That's what I'm saying. I don't know here. You know man. that you've looked no, through that list haven't. already. I don't remember the winners of the no, match. No, but you've looked through that list already. Do you know who wins? I just pulled it out two seconds ago. Uh, no, no, we're going to go through oh, match by match. We're going right. to... 
do a... Uh, I forgot about that one. I so, thought you picked Torito, too. So we got a El Torito. Hey, I uh, said it there, that. it's no... It I doesn't did, matter. I did pick Torito, and then I crossed I out. said it doesn't matter who wins, so they're going to go with the baby. All babies, right. You know. Uh, second match tonight was uh, Rob Van Dam against Jack Swagger against Cesaro. I got uh, that wrong. Swagger yeah, was right. eliminated first. Um, and then it was down to... Uh, who Rob Van Dam and uh, and Cesaro? Oh, yeah. So they were in a one on one. They did the rematch on Raw last night. By the way, their There's rematch about, on Raw was terrible. There's something about yeah, exactly. There's something about RVD and Cesaro that, that they, they don't they don't match. gel right. Yeah, right. They don't match well. How about uh, RVD came off the uh, the top rope with a frog splash? I think that's where he busted. He got busted open, right? His eye, whole left side of his face, man. Oh. Pretty much. Right? Whenever he hit the trash can is when. That was the spot that fucked his eye. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know right. what that was because I was writing and I don't remember. But so uh, so RVD uh, comes off with the uh, <laughs> five star frog splash and uh, Cesaro wound up pinning him with a you were right. I was wrong. Are finished. So, I said it for your match. You didn't say it for mine. You were right. I was wrong. So you were right. I was wrong on the pre-show. In the, uh, in the we'll pre-show see. match, right. right? Pre-show match. Guy got the pre-show match right. <laughs> No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> All right, so I mean, listen, they're high on Cesaro, so you got to think, why would they put RVD? Well, that was the obvious pick was Cesaro, Cesaro but right. I was thinking they're going to angle out of it, as, and I even explained this on the show. Oh, Swagger's going to fuck Cesaro, cost him the match, and RVD will win, and then we go That's off true. into a Cesaro uh, Swagger Real American versus Real American battle. But I guess they're going more they, for uh, Cesaro, Cesaro RVD. Uh, no, Cesaro, uh, Cesaro RVD yeah. and then, uh, Adam Rose and uh, Jack Swagger. Yeah, that it's, seems it's to be the payback. One, so. Yeah. Right. Um, let's see. We have payback uh, pay per view match. Yeah. Stephanie wants to talk to Daniel Bryan. It's basically Stephanie's trying to do all this. This was at Extreme Rules. Yes, uh, backstage, Stephanie. She said that she can't control the demon Kane. The monster I Kane is back. Okay. She can't control him. Um, she doesn't really want him to go out there and compete tonight. Just surrender. Oh, you can uh, forfeit the belt. Yeah, forfeit do remember the that. belt. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah, you yeah. to get hurt. Okay, it's that Stephanie's basically playing this. I'm trying to do what's right for you, Daniel. That, but, but then, oh, I don't know what's happening. I, 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 yeah. I, I don't know Even what's though, going on. But yeah, the, uh, the subtle the undertone is she's the one making all this she's happen, but she's pretending like I, I can't help. Just anything. trying to help yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to help you. I'm Daniel. trying to help, yeah, and I don't know yeah, what's yeah. going on, honestly. But she, she We had uh, Alexander Rusev. By the way, he is uh, no longer called Alexander. They've dropped the name as they did with Biggie. Really? Really? Biggie Langston. When did this news come out? Uh, just a couple of hours ago. Okay, I, I didn't hear that yet. Uh, like Biggie Langston. <clears throat> Biggie is now Biggie. Rusev is his name now? Rusev. I don't like that. That's it. Just Rusev. I didn't like Cesaro. At first I didn't like Biggie when they dropped Langston off of it. The Biggie yeah. I understood. Because Langston See, was kind of unimportant. You still got Big E. You got more than just Big. Big E. Okay. I get in trouble that for works. saying that. I get Cesaro, in real quick, and then right. you get in trouble. Cesaro, uh, I didn't like that one. I'm like, Antonio Cesaro, what's wrong with that? And Cesaro, but now it makes perfect sense. Does, Maybe Rusev will be the same does thing. Does Antonio... Uh, listen, I, I apologize. If you're named Antonio, I apologize. But <laughs> Well, the, the mindset does was... Antonio kind of said... Antonio... See, that was the I'm mindset. Bit, Vince, oh Vince McMahon specifically, his mindset was... Antonio doesn't sound like a tough guy. And then we went on the sounds air like the a, week that that news like came out. homosexual now. Really? Yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, I said Antonio. I Did you not get Ant- the reference? No. Who? Ant- Name a gay Antonio. Ant- Antonio Thomas from the Heartthrobs back in the day. Is he I don't gay? Know, I don't know if he's gay, but he played a gay right. gimmick in WWE. I didn't even... I, don't, I know the name of the Heartthrobs. I don't remember the gimmick, though. But, okay. Antonio Nogueira. Uh, he's a badass. All Antonio right. Hajerio Nogueira. All right. Antonio Bigfoot Silva. All right. Enough. Antonio Tarver. Enough. The boxer. It's all UFC. Antonio... No, Antonio Tarver's a boxer. All right, you got me. Antonio Inoki from Japan. Hmm. There's plenty of tough Antonios. Hmm. But <laughs> the point being, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I, I, the Big E one didn't bother me. Yeah. Okay. The Antonio Cesaro did bother me because it's like why? And the, but now it, it seems natural. Cesaro. Maybe Rusev will turn out that way too. Antonio just I, I Rusev is similar to Cesaro exactly. in Exactly. We're right. I can see it's it. It's a kind of name Rusev. where the, the last name has the the, the By uh, the way, they changed uh I mean clearly what they did at Extreme Rules, um, I guess we gotta talk about it right now. Yeah. But Lena comes out, um right. Is it Lena or Lana? Lena, right? Lena, yeah, you're Lena. Right. Uh Lena comes God. out Damn she's hot too. And cuts this promo <laughs> about Vladimir Putin. 
Okay. Yeah, the Russian president probably. And I know the fuck. you don't follow the world news and things like that. I've heard the name know, a lot. If you knew, if you know he's anything, a and, he's a dictator. If yeah. you know anything about Vladimir Putin, it's all over the news right now that he has sent troops, and they are taking, they are trying to take over the country of um, um, Ukraine. Okay, the Ukraine. Ukraine. So they've sent uh, Vladimir Putin has sent troops to the border of Ukraine and okay. is trying to basically take Ukraine and bring it as part of Russia. Yeah. Um, so I know about Kim Jong Un. He's another one. That's the um, age. The Chinese. The Chinese. Guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Dennis Rodman was hanging out. With <laughs> right. Him. Right. right. Yeah. So um, or Japanese. Right? Is it Japanese or Chinese? Yeah, it's Japanese. That's North Korea and South Korea. They've got the. He's the North Korean dictator. Korean. North Korean. Yeah, Korean. that's not Japanese. Right. right. That's North right. Korean. Korean. <laughs> Korean. Korean. Um. So, anyways, but um. So, clearly, what they're trying to do with Lena is have her reference Putin, Vladimir, and they did uh, Snowden. Edward Snowden. Well, he's is it the guy. Edward or Jonathan? Edward. Edward. Edward Snowden's the There's guy. There's a reporter named Jonathan. Snowden. Edward. Edward Snowden is the guy that got confidential U.S. documents okay, so you know and about. released right. them out. And it. Thank detailed, God you follow pop culture, man. It de- <laughs> world news, not pop culture. Whatever. No, <laughs> popular culture. This is stuff. Pop culture is more entertainment. Stuff. Uh, I say pop Hollywood culture in terms of this like is that. stuff that we should know Anyways. about. But all right, you follow news. All right. So, anyways, so Edward Snowden is the guy that came out and leaked all this confidential U.S. you know um, war secrets and things yes. like that. Um, he needed to go find asylum, which means he needed to get the fuck out of the United States because if he stayed here, asylum? they were... Asylum? Yes. Okay. So, he needed to get out of the United States because he knew that if they found him here, they would have to... Oh, he, they yeah, would okay. arrest him, they'd throw okay. him in prison. So, he went overseas and talked to a bunch of different countries to try to find out somebody that could protect him. Asylum. Somebody that can protect him and keep him so they wouldn't get arrested. Yeah. Vladimir Putin agreed to take him in. Okay? And so Lena comes out and references Edward Snowden, and he turned on all of you, you Americans, and now he's over in Russia, and Vladimir Putin, he's keeping him safe from the United States, and you're all but It was basically a whole, a whole heel, heel thing. So, yeah. the idea here is... But clearly, Vladimir Putin is all over the news, okay? They're trying to get media attention. They feel if they have, if WWE has a character that is supporting a guy like Vladimir Putin, yeah. if they can tap into a, a controversial political worldwide yes. issue, whatever the he fuck. He is yeah. hated by the United States. He's hated by a lot of people yeah. in this world. So, if WWE goes out there and they have a character that is praising Vladimir Putin, they're trying to get media attention to say that, well, I can't believe WWE's doing this. I can't believe that they've got a character that is, you know, doing this. So, they've renamed, I guess, Vladimir Putin, or um, uh, Alexander uh, Rusev. Oh, okay. Alexander Rusev is now, he's still known as the Bulgarian Brute. Brute. Yeah. I remember but Brute Cologne. But Lena, Lena is from Russia. I guess he's still from Bulgaria. No, she says now he's residing in Russia. Residing in yeah. Russia. He moved so to clearly, Russia. clearly, and even last night on Raw, Lena comes out and once again mentions Vladimir Putin. She got the same promo every time. Yeah, trying yeah. to get media attention because if the media, if the national media or some major media outlets pick up on this, I can't believe, like I said, WWE's got a character that's Nobody's supporting gonna shit. But, Vlad- okay. but it's media attention. They're not going to get media attention. Good media, <laughs> bad media. They're not going to get good media, bad media. Any company that, that runs a media bit, they're going to look at it and be like, eh, this fucking You'll have websites shit. like the Huffington Post and... You Local know, shithead towns will say, yeah. The Huffington real, Post is the big website. Slow news day. But uh, real quick, Lena... Lena? Is that what you're calling her? Lena. I thought you were saying Lena. Call her Lena. Okay, Lena. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Lena is a clear ripoff. I don't know you don't. I know. I know you don't watch a lot of movies. She's a clear ripoff, and I don't remember the character's name, but it's Brigitte Nielsen okay. from Rocky IV, Yvonne Drago's uh, wife. Okay. Which was actually Rocky's Sylvester Stallone's wife in real life at one point. I think during that movie, she's clearly ripping that character off. It's the same thing. Okay. If you've seen Rocky IV, you're like, oh shit, it's it's the whatever her character's name and and even Dra- and Ivan Drago, Rusev's okay. Drago. 
All right. I'm just saying, WWE's ripping this off almost blatantly from the uh, the movie. Well, that's what they did with uh, Bray Wyatt with the whole Duck Dynasty. I mean, they're See, going that, I don't agree different. with it. They reference it. Randy Orton cut Rock out in the chat room. No. Didn't agree with it at first either. And then Randy Orton cut a promo backstage and he finally came around. And no, he just right. said you're Duck Dynasty wannabe because he's got a beard. He was making fun right, of him. Right, but it and wasn't. using a pop culture now, reference to now, make fun of him. The character Oh, itself, you're so stupid. The character yeah. itself now is clear. has nothing to do. Duck Dynasty. I've never seen Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty so maybe it is, is a group but I don't know. Of people that go out and they make duck calls. They blow into these things. Okay, and they got beards. The ducks come a, come a running, yeah. right? Anyway, so <laughs> they the character, Bray Wyatt's character has nothing to do with ducks and things like that. Yeah. But, you know what I mean. The, right. the example, the analogy you would so make, who won, uh, based on Lena yes. Rusev. Who won? Uh, Rusev won. Uh, we both picked Rusev. Yes, come on. We did. But, uh, no, the, the example, the analogy I was making from Lena to Rocky IV, oh if you're going to say, oh, it's just like what they did, you would say, Razor Ramon and... Razor Ramon and it's, it's uh, probably one of the top five most famous movies ever. This is how I, I, see, I don't watch, watch movies. movies, man. I, Scarface, Tony Montana, Tony oh, Montana. Okay. I want the world, Chico, and everything in it. Bad impression. But, so, uh, yeah. uh, Xavier Woods. Guys, never seen Scarface. Have you seen Godfather? No. One? No. Two? No. Three? No. Rocky? No. One? No. Two? No. Three? No. Four? No. Five? No. Six? No. All right. Goodfellas? No. Raising Bull? No. Taxi Driver? No. Let's go. Clerks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phone booth? This guy actually said that to me the other day. He said, yo, I've Lion seen... Lion King? I've seen... Yeah, I watched that when I was a kid. Yeah, a girl wanted me to watch it with her. We were young, you know, but... uh. All right, so listen... We had, uh, he so said, he says, I watched you, I seen Clerks, and I was like, alright, that, that's actually pretty good movie, Clerks. I he saw said, Clerks on too, too. He said, I've seen Phone Booth. <laughs> <laughs> phone Booth is a bad-ass movie, bro. It's a decent... Yo, the dude stands in the phone booth all the time, and the yeah. guy's talking to the guy's talking to him like, yo, if you step out of that fucking phone booth, I'm, I'm gonna kill you. I'm, I'm mentioning movie you. names like Godfather, Goodfellas, Raging Bull, Taxi Driver. I'm I say Phone Booth all over. Scar all over. He says, I've seen Phone, phone Booth all over. <laughs> Fuck out of here. So listen, um... <sighs> He fell down. I can see him just fine. You can't see us. What happened next? Uh, so we had uh, Xavier For the Woods. predictions, uh, yes. yeah, we both got Rusev. Xavier uh, Woods uh, was attacked here, was basically out of the, the entire match. Rush him! Yes. Yeah. And then uh, it was basically a squash of uh, our What would you think of uh, Big E against Bad News Barrett for good the match. IC title? Pretty good match, Pretty good right? Match. Yeah. Uh, and Barrett was... won. We got a caller. Are we taking callers? Right no, now? not yet. Yeah, we're running short on time here in hour one. Uh, Barrett won the uh, the title yeah, uh, with that. a bull hammer, right? A flying bull hammer. They actually hammer. call it the Bad News Bull Hammer Elbow now. Is that what it is? Very okay. long name, yeah. So we both had that one. Um, by the way, God, we had these right in order up until that match. Yeah, well, except for the pre show. Yeah. Anyways, um, so oh, Evolution. The, the match order. Yeah. yeah. And we just guessed. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think about uh, Evolution against the Shield? This they was match of the show. Of without course. a doubt. There's no match question that was the best right. match of the show. Uh, a, I thought it was interesting that they chose to position it what where was it the was. The fourth right. match, or know, whatever it I was. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Right. Uh, the match itself, like you said, clearly match of the show. Very great match. That was an awesome match. Yeah, awesome Seth Rollins match. dive off the fucking thing or whatever. Roman's was uh, hit the Superman punch on uh, Batista. Yeah, to, he uh, pinned Batista, right? Yeah, so the yes. Shield won. I know I got this wrong because I picked Evolution. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense either because they're continuing with Evolution Shield and Payback. Well, they put Evolution back together, and you would have thought They'd win that the on the first match, first match keep it going, back. and yeah. then Shield gets it back. Absolutely. But that was because the original plan. And, and it, I got an out in this because the original plan was Shield beats Evolution, and then we spawn off to Batista Daniel Bryan. And then uh, Batista, Batista made all these. At payback, it was going to be Daniel Batista Bryan, and O'Brien, right. and Batista right. made all these fucking waves by not. He turned it We're down. We're going to have a huge it. update on that coming tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, there's something, uh, and, and Daniel Bryan 
I don't think Batista has an issue with Daniel Bryan. The issue isn't Dan Daniel Bryan is one of the most liked guys backstage in WWE. Said, you can watch Total Divas in the season, nice guy. Batista yeah. was promised a lot of things when he signed that contract. To come he was one of the title at WrestleMania. He was supposed to come back. He was supposed to be a mega win the big Royal deal. Rumble. Win the title. He Mania. was going to win the Rumble. He was going to go on to Mania, yes. and he was going to win the title. Now, when he came back. The crowd reacted to him <laughs> in a way of, oh, booty stuff. Booty stuff. Yeah. And they booed him when he came back. So WWE had to change course because nobody cared when Batista came back. They had these huge plans to bring Batista back. He was going to be a top star. And when he came back, it was like nobody cared. So WWE went in a completely different direction. Now Dave is thinking to himself, well, wait a minute. When I signed that contract to come back... You guys promised me all this stuff, and now you want me to job out to Daniel Bryan in a WWE title match. So the problem isn't necessarily... Yeah. You want me to lose the WrestleMania instead of win the title WrestleMania? You want me so, to job out to Daniel Bryan? No, yeah, but it was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania. Was he was, right, Man, and he, was he was winning. To, and he was going to win. And he instead, all right, triple threat, and you're losing. And, and, then, Daniel you're, and Bryan, then your big follow-up is you're losing again to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan continued yeah. to get over and get over and get over. And they had no other option come WrestleMania than to put the title on Daniel Bryan just because of how over he was with the crowd. Yeah. You knew that was going to be the main event. But they are, if they didn't have Daniel Bryan win the title in the main event of WrestleMania, there was going to be a problem. Probably a riot. Yeah, yeah, it but it would have been the end of the show, so it wouldn't matter. But, right, um, you're right. but you know that, what? Let, let's not give him too like much that. credit for... All right. Let, like you're saying, Batista had these plans, these plans, and they changed because of the crowd reaction and adapted. Yes. Let's not give them too much credit, because an hour or two we'll save it when Raw happens. There's something, a big beef I have with how they use Daniel Bryan. A if very you, big beef. I, I didn't like the way... And I haven't heard a lot about this. Yet. But if you're Dave Batista and you're promised something... But yes. You're promised something. Business when you, when business. You're business promised is something, business. Yeah. I understand. I understand. No, no, no. no. I'm agreeing business. with you. Business is business. You promise right. somebody something... And then you change it, and then the next show, oh, you change that too. Right. At a certain point, a guy's going to be like, well, fuck you. I was doing right. just fine in Hollywood right. and doing MMA. And I don't know. Uh, so yeah. anyways, he's agreed to stick around through uh, payback. They're going to do uh, the Evolution Shield against the uh, Shield. So I guess. I Let's mean, finish She'll up have to win again, so, right. Shield, so Evolution was pointless to reform. <laughs> They got nothing out of this. They well, I think, any, I think Evolution, the reason that Evolution was there to perform, and I talked about it last week when was we did to put the, the shield over. was to put the shield over. Put them on a different level. And that's what they're doing. Yeah. Evolution, you've got three guys in Dave Batista, Triple H, and Randy Orton that are putting three younger guys over, which is a smart business move because the shield the right smart, now is... The best move would have been Evolution reforms. Somehow, whatever the angle is, they fuck the shield, and somehow they win. Because they fucked him. Right. Then, because WWE owns this uh, gimmick match, War Games, Okay. you get your like rematch that. in I the like War that. Games, and now you can't cheat, and somehow, not somehow, you get your War Games, and they can't cheat now, Shield fucks them up. Right, right. And now that, like that, and then the Shield's fucking looking like killers now. John Cena Bray Wyatt cage match. My God! All right, can the, we do the, this in the, two minutes? What do we got? The match Jeez. itself. The I match can't do this itself. In two minutes. We're gonna we're gonna do these two matches, and then we're gonna come back and finish. We the gotta do match. two matches. The match itself. I, can't do this I didn't minutes. have a problem with the match. Yeah, itself. I did. But let's go. Why? Why? Cena kept trying to get out of the cage. Do you know the point the of a steel cage match? The point of a steel cage match is that there's got to be a winner because nobody can get in to the inside of the cage. A, yes. Okay. And then B, it's designed to give the baby face a fair chance at victory. Right. Generally, Correct. when Correct. I'm a kid, generally, the heel cheats, people help him, whatever the fuck, right. and he beats the baby face. You know how you eliminate all that possibility? What? Keep yeah. the few going. You put them in a cage. Now it's this motherfucker. It's this motherfucker. There's a cage. Nobody can help you. Right. And the babyface kicks your ass and wins because nobody helps you win. Right. John Cena yeah. already won at WrestleMania. I know. What the fuck are they putting him in the cage for in the first place? A. Right. B. They the cage is supposed to be designed, like you said, to eliminate outside interference. The whole story of the match was Cena couldn't climb out or get out the door. Because the Wyatt family kept stopping him. Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, who were at ringside, right. kept stopping him. And then they did the worst, most fucking horrible, shithead, goofy, douchebag, douchey-chill angle because it was Super Cena. 
oh, he's fighting three people in a cage and this and that, and he stills kicking their ass and this and that. Right. The only way he can lose is because some little kid, <laughs> little Johnny, oh, no. shows up. He comes out with the uh, the. By the way, little Johnny was a little bit creepy looking. He was. By the yeah. way, a little trivia note. He was Jameson's. Bobby Heenan um, from back in the day, right? He was Jameson's kid. Jameson was the co-host of the Bobby Heenan show. Okay. Which okay. WWE, without asking permission from USA Network, tried to take their superstar show, which was like their Raw back in the day, mm -hmm. and replace it with the Bobby Heenan show. Right. Not replace it, but like uh, for a couple shows, instead of US, uh, superstars, you get Bobby Heenan show. Mm -hmm. USA Network, because they didn't ask permission. USA Network's like, what the fuck is this? Right. You know, and they had to stop it. So there was only like three or four Bobby Heenan shows. But Jameson was this nerdy guy with glasses, and he was this nerdy, dorky guy, right, and he right. was the co-host, whatever. Right. He was uh, Ed McMahon to Johnny Carson. He was uh, so, well, Andy Richter to Conan O'Brien. He was right, that guy right, for right. Bobby Heenan. Right. And the kid that played Little Johnny was his son. Okay. So, right. but yeah, but the finish had Little Johnny. It was, was a little kid. It was the dumbest. Like a horror thing. movie, he had the the effect on his voice. Right, right. It was He's the, got the whole dumbest way to end a match. And by the way, the John Cena Bray Wyatt feud. If you're tired of it already, they're going in a rematch at Payback, and they're going beyond that. That might be so, the whole summer. It may culminate. Yeah, SummerSlam Summer Slam Slam. might be the end of that. So you got a while. And I'm getting sick of it. I know, I know. And I'm going to tell you right now. Ray's promo last night was pretty fucking good, man. It was pretty good, but it's one of those promos where it's like, you don't know what the fuck he's, he's talking about. He's trying to get the kids. All the kids love John Cena, and all the adults yeah. have now come over to follow Bray. Now he's trying to get the kids, and that was the whole thing. The kid came out at Extreme Rules to yeah. screw Cena. That it's was the start of trying yeah. to get the kids to come. It's representing that, yo, well. kids are coming to me instead of you. John but Cena cut a heel promo last night. We'll talk about it. After the uh, show? After I the didn't show. hear about this, Dude, see it, or he read it. So it. Tell he me. basically said the Albany crowd sucked. Really? He I didn't hear it, see it, right nothing. Out. I don't know anything about Hold it. But um, Bray Wyatt's promo are raw. Nine times out of ten, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but it sounds cool. Yeah. And we talked about this last week, where we're talking about best promos of all time, or best promos this and that, and I'm like... The, the, the point of a promo is to convince people to spend money to come see a show. Right. You're trying to, oh, you got to see me fight this guy because of this promo I just said. You're, I'm explaining to you why you should come pay your money to buy a ticket. Right. Bray Wyatt is entertaining. Uh -huh. It's fun. You listen to him, you're like, oh, that was cool. That was entertaining. But at the end of it, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see him fight this guy because of what he just said. No. Yeah. It's because just more it's cool. Cena. It's Cena. You know what I mean? No, it's not with Cena. It's, it's Wyatt's of... style of promo. It's just, it's very weird. Right. But it comes off as cool, but it doesn't convince you. But last night on Raw wasn't a typical Bray Wyatt promo. It wasn't, it wasn't. It was weird and this and that, but he made a lot of very clear cut points. Right. Right. He's saying, yo, I, I was told I was going to be a hey. leader. He was saying, I was told that I'm a mom. I'm a, you know, uh, go ahead. When we, uh, when we come back from the break, guys, we're going uh, to talk more about this, and then we're going to finish up uh, Extreme Rules from this past Sunday night. We got the main event. That's all we got left, and I know That's you want exactly to talk a little bit more about that with Bray Wyatt. The whole thing was corny. Let's be honest, dude. It was corny, right? but it was, it was all right. It was okay for what it was. <laughs> When the kid came out, the match... Oh, Extreme match, Rules. I thought we were talking about Raw. The match Extreme itself, Rules. The match was, itself, I didn't have a problem with. I hated the, the match. Came out, the I hated finish, the match. Really? I hated the finish. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't have like, a problem with the match. I had a problem with the kid coming out and the finish of the match. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, finish up Extreme Rules. We've got the main event that we got to talk about. We're going to get into Monday Night Raw from our hometown of Albany, New York, from last night. Give us uh, your thoughts on that. No bias. I didn't think it was a great Raw, to be honest with you, but... And you always want a good show with it in your head. Yeah. Right, what are you going to do? So we're going to uh, we're gonna finish Extreme Rules. We're going to talk Monday Night Raw from Albany, New York, from last night. Ray Wise theme is playing. Yes, it is. We got the whole world. I'm getting sick of that, too. And that's going to make him a heel, and I'll tell you more about that in an hour, too. That's eventually going to make him a heel. People are sick of it. Matt Boone? Me. Ryan Clark. Him. You were listening. Yes. WZR TV Tuesdays with the two of us. Probably so. back. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Yes, we will. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Or I've got some good news. We're There's back. Only There's only one hour left. That's the bad news. Is that good news. Is. Good news is we're, we're back. back. <laughs> All right. We got to uh, finish up. Uh, can I just say, we're back. 
Yeah. It is fucking great to have Wi-Fi back. It is more... And it just comes back out of nowhere. Yeah, out of the blue. Out of the blue. Because uh, I was asking for a phone. I was going to get raw, loaded up on a phone for us. Right. And, right. and you said, oh, that's not going to be necessary. Good, sir. We got internet. We got Wi-Fi. You know I owe it. I mean, we pay for internet for the, the stream and everything, but this, you know the cord doesn't reach, so we need Wi-Fi. That I owe $80 oh. on my phone bill, and they cut that. me off. You said that earlier, and I was like, I thought For you said last week or dollars, a couple days ago or something. You said my phone, and I'm gonna pay it out of this money we're getting. And I can get incoming calls. Okay, that stops after a day. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, when my, when, we, when my phone used to get cut off, I could still get calls. I couldn't call anybody. I couldn't text anybody. I could get texts. I could get calls, and then like 12 hours later, that those would stop. I'm getting texts. I mean, there's texts yeah, yeah. coming in. That, that, uh, that's right not now. gonna last. You, 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 know you, get, I mean? you get like 10, 12 hours, maybe a day, and then that stops too. Hey, Ryan, is Dean from Buffalo? Hope someone can get you the results from tonight on the way. They're to in the Buffalo arena. tonight. Oh no! You know that, right? This is Dean from Buffalo, my man, my correspondent. Is he there? Well, hopefully uh, you are okay, Dino. He says, uh, on the way to the arena, we were hit and totaled by another oh, car. Shit. We never made it to the show. Sorry, man. Whoa. So, uh, wow. Hopefully Dino's That's okay. Well, not, uh, not Dino in the uh, chat yeah, no, no, but, no, um, He's in the UK. People know that. Dino UK. Uh, Dean from Buffalo is the correspondent. You guys probably see his name on the <laughs> websites pretty often. Anything from Buffalo, when they had the WWE store out at Niagara Falls, um, he would send us you know, results and recaps and things like that. So hopefully Dean's uh, okay from uh, from Buffalo. But um, I do know that uh, the SmackDown tapings... We did have um, a Sheamus against uh, Dean Ambrose. You know that they had the Battle Royal last night. We're yeah, talking so about it here in a minute. One on one. They had a rematch for the title. Uh, Sheamus retained. Yes, for the okay. title. Uh, that actually uh, kicked off uh, SmackDown. So okay. we're gonna have uh, SmackDown we, spoilers um, for you here in a little bit. Did we read the Cena promo for main event? I didn't read any of this. So I no. haven't. Uh, main event aired head to head with us tonight yeah, but because I, they're on the you East Coast. Read it. I didn't, yeah, yeah, I didn't know if you I read main event it. too. I'm sure everybody in the chat room. Well. I didn't know if there was anything us. notable that he Yeah, said. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure it was. You could load it up there, but yeah, yeah all, right. all right. Anyways, we got to, uh, let's finish up uh, Extreme Rules. So rapid Fire, we can plug Rapid Fire, yes. right? Yes, You we, put it up? We didn't do that, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. I did. Um, this is your plug, baby. No, I do the uh, thing, I thought. No, you do Rapid Fire. Oh, no, fire I do do week. the whole thing, right? How does it go again? You can send us your questions and comments at facebook.com slash... Ryan Clark WZR, I said that that's Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Get on over there, send us your questions and comments. We'll get to as many as we can here in our numero Hey, when we both sat here and we answered week, them in a rapid fire fashion. And I said, I yeah. ain't until you say I'm right, you're wrong, we ain't moving. That made for good radio. I watched It was pretty funny, right? I, we yeah. did it. And and you gave in and it, because you didn't know did if it, I was going to give if in. If we or not. did it any we were longer sitting than that, there, ready and willing to I'm keep going, doing, right. and I realized in my head after, and I sat for a good twenty seconds. You realized that if you know, went, if I was went finished, five I seconds a, longer, I finished a beer, I put a cigarette stop. out, and I'm still sitting. He's still chilling. I'm like, this motherfucker. I ain't giving really up. Gonna really I sit am there. not giving up. Yeah, but you told me right after the show. You said you were two. You were two seconds away. Because from I knew it was gonna make for bad radio. Yeah. If we had extended I think that, we waited the perfect amount of time. Right. If we had extended that a little bit longer, one of us had to give in because if yeah. it continued on. It was going to make for, all right, guys, and, enough. And basically, enough. whoever gives in first cares most about the fans because they're realizing in their head, the fans are suffering right now, not Ryan. Not me. If there is one guy I, I care that about, cares, you great fans. If there is one guy, this guy that cares more about you, on days yeah, I would never where make I that damn near you feel care way more. like I got the flu and I Put can your face barely, book and, yeah. I am dying today. I am dying today. I drank yeah. some beers to get me in the mood for this show. I was about to cancel today. I didn't well, go wrong when I first yesterday. woke up, the, the show reason, was canceled. He, the said, reason, he said, as far as I'm concerned, we're probably not doing a show. Maybe if I feel better, we'll do a show. The reason I didn't go to Raw uh, last night... I'm sick so too, by the way. Busy. Just so you guys know, you my know dedication. You know how many people told me, yeah. yo, 
Go to Raw, man. We can wait on the news. Just go to Raw. It's in Albany tonight. Yeah, you know to who Raw. one of them was? Uh, so many people told me the news can wait. You know who one of those people were? And you, I don't care. Me. I don't care. I've never been to Raw in my life. And I said... I'm a wrestling fan for I 30 said, years. I've never been to Raw once. It is too busy. We cannot go to Raw. It's you said last week. too fucking busy. We gotta be here. Uh, for these fans, we gotta be here. This is Tuesday. So don't tell me about... Not give How can we not go to Raw about the fans? We can still do the show. We can do. We're doing the show right now. But if we went to Raw last night, we wouldn't be doing the show right We'd now? We'd still be doing the show right yeah. now. So, it wouldn't so we anything. didn't go to Raw and we're still doing the show right now. What's and it point? didn't affect anything because we got a Raw recap in front of us. What's your point? I don't know what your point is. What is your point? You're saying, oh. What's the uh, point you're trying to make? Fans are telling you to go to Raw, don't worry about this and that. I'm trying to say that. We're still here doing the show. All right. the way that we got into this is talking about the fans and me not caring about the I fans. I was joking. Clearly. Well, clearly. Clearly. You were joking. You give but them dollars one for when they that challenge you. cares about these fans yeah. more than anyone <laughs> else. All right, babyface Clark. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll right. play the heel. Although Here I care go. too. I, I'm way into the gig now. You've been a there heel was, for the last ten years. Uh, that was a, that was a good stretch of about two years where I didn't give a fuck about any of you motherfuckers watching right now. Any of you? I don't think you do. I to this day, I, I honestly do. do. I honestly you do. do. I did. Do. I tell you, when you, you take said, you take this show a lot more serious yeah, than you did. It's fun now that I'm back into wrestling and I can actually participate in the show. You're not really into it. You're just forced to. <laughs> well, I'm into it because I'm forced to be into it, but right. I'm still into it. Right. Now, whether right. I'm forced or not, I'm paid to be into it or not, doesn't matter. I'm into it. <laughs> back right. in the day, the two years <laughs> I'm talking about, I was paid to be in the MMA world. Right. And not the wrestling world. So being in the wrestling world with a show like this where you really got to know what you're talking about yeah. was hard because I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. And people well, would always, just, people always send feedback like, oh, clearly you're not watching Raw, motherfucker. Well, the, 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 the thing about it is back in the day when Boone wasn't watching pro wrestling, I would kind of run down Raw and then Boone because I would just make jokes. He's so good at what yeah. he does. Where I would I would run down Raw and Boone would be like, Oh yeah, yeah, I, I like that. That was, that was I, I, know, I know wrestling, yeah. so I could I, no I could idea. I could improvise to where they, they wouldn't know. <coughs> but I'm so fucking honest that I would admit, right? Or, even uh, though I realized like a week or two into the the fact that, that oh they hate me for not for admitting that I'm wa- that I'm not watching. Right. But I would still admit it because I'm like, I can't get around it. I don't want to be in a, stuck in a position where you say something or ask me a question. And I'm like, dude, I, I don't fucking know. Right. I, I didn't see it. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is so, what we got to do. You ready, bro? Because yes. we only got 40 minutes left. So this is what... Uh, go let's finish up. We can't because we Smackdown, can go Smackdown's in Buffalo. And I got to get those get spoilers up. Get it up 20 minutes late. I got to get those spoilers Not a huge up. deal. Got to get them up. Uh, Daniel Bryan against Kane. But he Kane. cares about the fan. Yeah, yeah. I do. But that's why I got to get the Smackdown spoilers up. The people Bitch. are listening. You can tell them what's happening right now. Well, they, they, a lot of people tune out. They, 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 they. There's a lot of people yeah. that are in the United Kingdom right now where it's about 2 o'clock in the morning they're over sleeping. there. sleeping. It's 2... Th- they're, not, they're listening to us. They're watching you us. Tell them right now what's happening on SmackDown. I just did. I told them that Seamus defeated your eye. Dean Ambrose. What about Look it? that way. Oh, Christ. Here you go with no, the eye no. again. Look at me. Now look that way with your eyes, but don't turn your head. Don't be. What are you don't trying to do? Look You're at me. To set me up. Don't turn something. your head, but look that way. What are you, no, what are you no, no, no. Set me up for. Leave your head here. Look that way. If you slap me, in I'm the looking face. at the eyeball. You got like blood or something on your eyeball. Okay, Leave your head for, here. What? Well, yes. Now look that way. Yeah, man. Your eye. You got like a busted blood vessel or something. Well, you love on your at, left you eye. Love looking into my eyes, eyes every week. That was a couple of weeks. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, you say. Look at them eyes. Well, what's wrong with your eye? You got a big that. black eye, right? No, your one eye was swollen. No. Yeah. I just noticed it because it was obvious. And well, I what do I, what's was going like, on tonight again? There's a, like a, blusted, a busted blood vessel in your left eye. I, when, you look, when you look that way, yeah. the, the white part of your eyeball on the side is covered in red blood, like right there. I'm just oh, telling you. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, it's not. Hopefully it's you used not to wear serious. glasses, right? And you got laser eye surgery. I got the laser eye surgery. Yeah, so maybe, maybe it fucked me up, right? Up again, <laughs> maybe it know. messed me up. All right. Uh, Dana Bryan against Kane for the uh, WWE uh, title. Uh, it was an Extreme Rules. We match. didn't talk about Paige versus Tamina Snuka, which is very important. I'm skipping it on our just kidding. Under. Paige retains. Blah 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 blah. Paige retained there. And then, um, what do you think, man? Dana Bryan and Kane for the WWE title. I gotta say, it was. Um, it was a good match. The the problem I had is let's skip straight to the end, okay? okay. And forklift and 
Well, they they went backstage. You're right. Before they went, they went backstage. Well, I'm going to the fire spot, but they went backstage and they got the forklift. Dana Bryan put him on a forklift and brought him out to the ring. ring. I guess because it was not a, a false count anywhere match, mm-hmm. so he had to pin him in had the ring. To come back to the ring, right? Yeah. Right. So drives him back to the ring, right? And tries to dump him off. Yeah. But something with the forklift kind of failed, dude. It didn't. That's much failed. Is just that I don't think Kane was. He should have been laying on the edge. But then it's risky to be driven all the way there. You hit a bump, you fall. You know. Right. So you got to be right. careful. But you can hold on. I don't. Right. Right. All right. So they get the table right. Uh, Kane pulls out a table. Well, real quick, he dumps him. He, he drives the forklift to the ring, lifts it up, tries to put it down so that he falls off, but he doesn't. So Kane has to voluntarily roll off, which looked bad. And everybody booed because they thought what was going to happen was Daniel Bryan was going to hop up and like superplex him off of it or something. something. There was going to be right. a spot there. Right. So when he rolled off, they're like, boo, they're not going to do anything with the big right. height of the fork. And then Daniel Bryan climbs up and gets on the uh, platform that's then, raised up from the fork. Everybody cheer. Right. He does a flying headbutt. And then we go to the... Uh, they did a, uh, <laughs> a still shot on Raw last night where they had Daniel Bryan in the air jumping off the forklift. Yeah, he's way up there. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Right? That was a pretty cool photo to, photo that they uh, that they had. But um, So they go to the end. Kane uh, takes out a table, right, from underneath the ring. And then he goes out and... It's only once this week. That's the first time, man. Yeah, that's once. a new record. One um, time. So Kane grabs a gas can, okay, and... <sighs> Clearly, in the middle of the table, they had fire retardant on there. Yeah, they had sprayed something to make sure the fire didn't really expand so it was on the in the middle of the so table. Much. The problem I had is you've got Kane. And before Kane grabbed the gas can from under the ring, before he grabbed it, you see two guys on the right hand side of the <laughs> ring. With a, fire out extinguisher. with a fire extinguisher. Yeah, yeah. This is before he had grabbed the gas can. So you're thinking, at the same time. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. <laughs> these two motherfuckers are standing here. It was here. worse. It was as he, like, you set up a table, you're not expecting anything. Then when he goes to grab the fire, the gasoline or whatever, right. you've you got see two, two guys, guys running with fire extinguishers. And you're like, well, clearly they're setting up a fire spot. Well, it's going to be fire. Because yeah. the guys ran out, the guys with the they fire. Why wouldn't they? Was, why wouldn't they have them there already at ringside? Like, there must have been some sort of communication issue. What communication? Before the match starts, are the guys out there for the finish of the match, the most important spot of the match? Are they out there ready? They, no, no, they, they haven't run to the ring yet. Why they they do that? They had them run down. So somebody backstage that was must bad. Be, the guys were waiting backstage, and somebody said, "Okay, go now, go now." And they, they should have gone out before the entrances even happened. <laughs> right, right. They should have been, they at been ring sitting side. there with a the ring at keeper. Ring side, but time, yeah. clearly, somebody backstage had said, "Okay, go, go." All right, spots coming go, up. Go, 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 go. Yeah, and then yeah. they got there before Kane had even grabbed the gas can. So they're standing there waiting for Kane to put the fucking gas on the yeah. table, and you're like, "Yeah, what the fuck?" It was bad. But anyways, uh, by the way, I got a fire spot. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people were saying that it was kind of a weak, weak fire spot. Oh, I disagree. Listen, I disagree. when I was watching it, Kane was on fire. He was on fire, fire for like two yeah. seconds. I remember a spot during the Attitude Era where his arm got caught on fire with him and the right. Undertaker in a, I don't know if it was a ring of fire, what do you call that, uh, an Inferno match? Right. I don't know what it was, but his arm got caught on fire and he ran to the back <clears throat> right. all the way, with the, all the way up the fucking ramp with his arm on fire. Right. I mean, he clearly had a bunch of rap stuff like to it wouldn't burn him, but uh, still dangerous. You, Listen, you, know, you play with fire, you get burnt. Fire is unpredictable. Where's, all those things. But this uh, this segment right here, or this spot right here, he went through the table. Usually, like Mick Foley and Edge WrestleMania, uh, the fucking what was the tag team in ECW that the Dudley, the Balls Mahoney guy would always get power bombed to a fire table by Balls the Dudley. And, uh, they would always, Axel. yeah, Axel Rock. they would always hit the table, a fire table, hit it, the table break, they'd roll, and they would be fine. Kane hit the table, rolled. He was still on fire. Was on fire. That motherfucker was on fire. So that they're, they're fucking spraying the shit out of him with a fire extinguisher. And I mean that lasted for a good five seconds. About two seconds. And, no, I mean it five. Was, it was. Look at what five seconds is, real quick. I know we're running short on time. But look what five seconds is. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. He wasn't on fire that long. No, no, no. no I didn't say he was on fire that long. I said right. they sprayed him. 
for yeah. five seconds with those fire extinguishers. Oh yeah, no doubt, no so doubt. So that makes it look obvious to the arena, like yo, this was pre-planned. And he was were fixing he was the, on fire for a good two seconds. I mean, it was, and then they fucking yeah. they they saw it. I mean, you could tell that they saw. I it mean, and they just kept spraying. He was on fire for a half a second before they're spraying. Right, right, right. As soon as he rolled, and he still got flames on his fucking arm or ass exactly. or whatever. Though, psh, exactly. You know. So it wasn't long before they sprayed, but the spraying lasts forever. The spraying lasted forever because yeah. they knew that the flames. You got to get that shit out. out. No, Can't right. take no chances. Fire's right. Fire's unpredictable. So that was uh, extreme rules from this past Sunday. Oh well, yeah, he hopped in the ring. We're spend, uh, this is worth mentioning because it sets oh, up right. the next pay per view. Absolutely. He gets in the ring. Immediately he turns around. Brian hits him with the uh, running knee. One, right. two, three. He wins. He's leaving, and Kane sits up. Sits up. So Kane's not dead. He didn't kill the monster still, yet. Right, yeah, right. And he's that was played out on Raw. But long story short, they're setting up a buried alive match. Buried alive match for the plan A was Daniel right. Bryan Batista main event of Payback. Plan B was Brian Kane buried That's alive right. real quick. And the whole reason they had him sit up at the end. Right. Well, in case the the negotiations with Batista didn't go well and they right. couldn't get Batista Bryan booked, we got to make Kane look like he's not done yet. We've so got to have go a, back up, a, a backup plan B, exactly. and that's that's exactly what it was, and that's what they're going with with the buried alive for match. the video packages. We need a story. To so yeah. now, I mean, basically, payback is God. If you watched Extreme Rules, you're going to see you get the, the same, same show. thing on uh, on payback. Different with, gimmicks, uh, different evolution same show. against the yeah. Shield, John Cena against Bray Wyatt. And seven and, Extreme uh, Rules match, you get a buried alive match, uh, and right. then Evolution Shield. We haven't heard anything about a gimmick match yet, but. Right. Probably just a rematch. Right. All right, so Monday Night Raw from our hometown of Albany. Right down the road. Right down the road here. Yeah. Um, so they announced... Uh, I think our crowd was awesome. I thought it was good. Feedback disagreed. I heard a lot of people saying that the crowd was dead last night. And Wrong. listen, for certain parts of the show, they sure. were dead. They were it's dead. It's a three-hour show. There's going to be parts where they're not crazy. There were a lot of CM Punk chants uh, throughout I, the I night. counted five different times the chant started up. Four or five different times, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, absolutely. And they weren't deafening, echoing chants, no. but they were loud enough that you could make it the out on TV. Adam Rose segment in the live arena, uh, according to two different people that tweeted me, one actually called, uh, said that the crowd was hot for the yeah, second. Yeah, I've heard that, what you heard, I heard that people said the Adam Rose thing fell flat a lot. Bullshit. I, I listen know. to my TV, and I'm... I, that's pretty much all I can do because I'm doing my play-by-play. I can't see a whole lot, so I gotta rely on sound and the commentators telling me what's happening. Oh, he slams him! Oh, he slams him! Oh, he suplexes him! Oh, he suplexes him! Oh, this and that, you know. So I don't get to look and see a whole lot of what's going Can we on. We tell the people. You said I gotta rely on sound and point it to your right ear. Poor Matty Boom been having yeah, an earache. Yeah, that's the ear too. Not yeah. ear. It's an earache. The ear, the aching part has kind of gone away. Yeah. So it doesn't hurt anyway. I just can't hear out of it. You know what? If I lay my watch. Right. There, now I can hear. Yeah. When I lean my head down or to the side, for some reason it, it opens an up. Earache, an earache is like a toothache. It where hurts. You don't yeah. realize how much you need your teeth until you get one yeah. of those toothaches. There's a lot of nerves. Like, oh attached. my god, yeah. it fucking hurts. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways. But, so no, that's like, yeah, but I'm saying, because I'm saying I can't see a whole lot, i got to rely on sound. I'm listening to that Rose segment, and I actually stopped and watched that, I believe. Yeah. Because I knew it was going to be easy enough to remember what happened. But he was so popular. He had a hurt. lot of hype coming in. Yeah. To, uh, to and I him. thought, and there was rumors that JTG was one of his party people coming down. You're saying he's not. He's not. Okay, so I don't know. I, I know George Romero, Jorge Romero, whatever you call him, sent us a picture on Twitter he where... sent a photo. A I black guy with like a graduation cap on or something. He sent a photo. I put it up on the websites and immediately, immediately, I had all these people tell me that they all he's, look a, like. uh, he's an indie wrestler and then they corrected me again and said he's an NXT wrestler that was uh, that was there and I had a couple people call me racist. Yeah, you, they thought you, you thought they all look alike. God. They had a couple That's even racist like, saying they all look alike. <coughs> I had a couple people, people call me racist I mean. for, for putting it up. I said, let us know. Do you guys think that that is JTG? He's your boy. You should know what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, but he had something over the top of his head last night. Yeah, no, I know. His face so, was but covered a little bit. People are calling me racist. I'm like, what are you... I'm, I don't I'm know what asking, he looks like. I'm asking you guys, do you think... I, it I missed like, the whole crime time era. The time we were talking about earlier where I wasn't into wrestling, I was doing MMA. Right. Crime time was that whole era. I, I didn't see any. I, I know the theme song, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. That's about right, it. Right, right. No, it, yeah. it looked like JTG to me, but a lot it of people like it. it does look like yeah. him. It looks very I mean, George Romero really knows what he's doing, you know, for the most part. But it wasn't. He's it not wasn't, a reporter so. per se, but not he's a racist. he's a very big fan. 
Um, you would think he so, would know, but uh, yeah. yeah that's so on, uh, on Adam top. Rose, I thought real quick to talk about the crowd reaction. I thought I could hear clearly the fans all. Uh, let me. I got the theme song. I downloaded it for the show. They uh, did. Yeah, it's awesome. Let me skip ahead to the part where they get to the. Uh, Oh, it is. Oh, okay. What? Oh, it's right ahead. Look, I split. What? That's Adam Rose. Okay. Right. All right. Skip straight down to it. I got it, but uh. All right. So, anyway, a second. But uh, during right. the uh, during the commercial break, Just stick uh, with the, the 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 crowd reaction. Right, right. During the commercial break, the crowd was doing the oh oh oh, oh that oh, part. Oh, yeah, that's oh. the part I'm talking. About. Right, right. It's a it's a catchy. I put it up on Facebook last night. The, the, is that know. a real song or did WWE Jim Johnson make that song? I don't know. It don't sounds know. like a real song, don't it? It does. It definitely does. Here you go. Oh 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 oh. oh. It's an awesome theme song, man. Yeah. But you know what the gimmick is? And I can swear I, I heard the not swear, I we know. Got, I heard I heard, I heard the whole I heard I heard the whole crowd chanting. Whoa! They you did, can they clearly were, hear it. They were. So the All people right. that you let's, that let's, on your Facebook and we'll other come, people We'll that said that, 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 that it fell flat. Right. Bullshit. Let's they come were, back to they it. They were all over it. So they announced on uh, WWE.com that uh, they were going to do a 20-man battle royal for the United States title. It was going to be Dean yes. Ambrose. It was going to be in there. He was going to defend the title against 19 other guys. So they kicked off Raw. <laughs> they announced on .com that that was going to uh, kick off the show. Uh, Dean Ambrose is out there. The final guys that came down to was Dean Ambrose, um, Jack Swagger, Sheamus, I believe, was in Ryback there. Well, Sheamus is obviously Axel. in there. And uh, maybe Curtis Axel. But, um, and Ryback. Eventually, and Ryback. It eventually came down to uh, Dean Ambrose and Sheamus. What right? do you think of Ziggler being eliminated by the Cobra? I know. And the crowd. That's You want well, to get back in the crowd reaction. The, the crowd, crowd was way into Ziggler that. the whole match. I I know. And, it, and it's cool. In a battle royal, there's very few things that happen individually with one guy or this guy where right. the crowd goes, oh, wow. And Ziggler, and, and there's, and this is in the beginning of the match when there's still 20 guys, so you can barely see anything that's going on. You just see guys, you know, that's like the old uh, Tasmanian Devil cartoons where the smoke starts, you know, right. and you just see shit getting thrown here and there. You don't even know what's going on. It's so it's such a clusterfuck. But Ziggler would do spots. I remember seeing him run across the ring and do a splash on the corner once, and the crowd reacted, and I'm like, that motherfucker's finding a way to make people look at him out of 20 people. They're looking at what he's doing. They out of 20 that. people. Mm -hmm. That's talent. All right. And, yeah, so the crowd was way into him. You could tell they wanted him to win like they always do. And, uh, do uh, uh, I didn't like the ending where Sheamus kind of held Ambrose for a minute and then just kind of threw him out. That, yeah, he hit him with a, the bro kick. A, a weird ending. He hit him with the bro kick. That was cool. It would have been better if he was getting ready to come off the ropes or something. And bro right. kick, he goes over. Right. That's a, or his finish knocked him over. But he hit him with his finish. He went flat back, laid there for a second. Sheamus simply picked him up, I picked him up, and then threw him out. Threw him out like he was kind of weird. I'm like, oh kind of man. You know. I agree with with taking the title <coughs> off uh, Dean Ambrose. I mean, you've got the whole angle. The title with, means nothing with the Shield. I know it really means nothing. But yeah. not only that, when's the last time he defended? You've got. It? Tell he me. hasn't defended it in in ages. What's the last match just, he had? With I don't know exactly. Don't know. But that's because Neither he's with the Shield. So why not give it to somebody? That they can take it and they can run with yeah. it and defend it on Raw or I mean, SmackDown it looks like on going a heel basis. Sheamus, too. Sheamus is going to go heel, man. And yeah. even after Better luck next time. they had him backstage with uh, Renee Young last night, and even you know Renee asked him something. And he said, uh, "He said no, what you, no what, hard feelings or something like no, that." No, he said, uh, "What would your message be to Sheamus or something like that?" He said, uh, "Better luck next time." Better luck I'll next time. That's like what that. it was. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the uh, the series of because uh, we got to do rapid fire as well. I want to get to some of these yeah. questions. Um, the series of backstage segments, right? It started out with Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella um, in a dressing room, right? And Stephanie walks in. Stephanie walks in to, uh, to yeah. the room and basically says the same thing that she said at Extreme Rules where, I don't want you to get hurt tonight. Why don't you just take off? You know, we'll give you the, we'll give you the night off or, or you take off. I or he's got a match. Cane, it, why don't, you've got a match later tonight, but why don't you stay here until that match. 
Uh, no, this is this is later. Why don't you stay here until your match later tonight, sure. um, and then after your match, we'll get your car and you can take off. So yeah. then, so he stays there, and as Stephanie walks out of the room, the mask appears on the wall, right? <laughs> so they stick around, and then they come back yeah. at a second segment, and the lights go out. Okay, and yes. Nikki star or Bree starts screaming. Daniel says, "Let's go." They walk out. Screaming. They yeah. walk out into the hallway, right? They run into Stephanie McMahon. This is where Stephanie McMahon says, listen, Daniel says, don't think I, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You're trying to fuck she with says, us. I this thought I told you to stay put. And he's like, oh, oh, like you didn't fucking have, you know. Yeah, what like you didn't have anything, anything yeah. to do with that. So um, so she says, you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to get your car and we'll be ready right after your match. So he goes out there and he has a really long match with uh, Alberto Del Rio. Good and we knew that. Uh, Daniel Bryan against Dave Batista was originally scheduled for Monday Night Raw. Then they wound up doing the Evolution thing. There were a couple of different okay. script changes yesterday at Raw. One of those being it was supposed to be Daniel Bryan against Dave Batista on Monday Night Raw last night. That was scheduled to be the main event. Then the second script had said that they were going to do the Shield versus the Wyatt family. Evolution was going to be out there as guest timekeepers. The yeah, idea behind that, that the idea behind that is if Evolution was out there as guest timekeepers, everybody knew that yeah, Evolution was finish. gonna get involved yeah. in the finish, so they figured let's take them off guest timekeepers and have them come out yeah. after the match is over or near the end of the match. So that's what happened. So there were a couple of different uh script rewrites at uh at Monday Man. Night Raw yesterday. Yeah. So what did you think? So it gets to the point where Del Rio and Daniel Bryan, they have a long match. I mean, this thing went 15 minutes, probably about 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes, yeah, but yeah. yeah well, went a commercial. couple of commercial breaks, I two commercial won, breaks, or one. Yeah. All right, so after the match is over, the lights go out, and Kane's theme music hits. Take Not yet, not yet. So Kane's uh, theme music hits, right? He takes Bree to the back. This is my big beef. And they get into the car, and this is what uh, I... This is what my I'm big beef is before they get in the car. Okay. Kane's music hits. And he runs up the ramp? He runs away like a pussy. Yeah, but he, he ran towards Kane. If Kane's if no, Kane's no, no, music no. hits, you're thinking Kane's coming uh, down. He the came ramp. through so the ring. Run towards he him. came through the ring last time, so you don't know where he is. Uh, and they sold that. They know they sold that before the match. As soon as the bell rang with him and Del Rio, what did Brian do? He started looking around, making sure. Yeah, Bree was on the outside was, too. Yeah, but he was making sure his wife was safe. Where is he? What is he was with around? Bree wearing uh, red and black last night too? I'm just saying. Kane, because I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Okay. She did look good as shit, though. She, she got such a pretty hot. face. My God, Bree's the hotter one. Out She's of the the, she got a prettier face. Nikki Bell's got the better body. Right. Um. But no. Uh. I just thought it was bullshit. Like, yo, your world champion shouldn't be running from anybody. And he literally, as soon as the pyro ran, grabbed Bree and ran, ran away like a coward, like a pussy that's afraid. Right. You know what I mean? I just think that's bad. It's your world champion. He shouldn't be run. And he's a baby face. Right. A heel, okay, he's going to be a coward and run away. He's a heel. Boo, you're running, you pussy faggot. Yeah, why not wait uh, for him? I shouldn't have said that. We're on the air. But, uh, you know, he's a baby face, and he's your champion. You don't run away from right. your, your you know, your opposition or whatever. That was just, I that, that, that was bad. I know, I know the reason behind it. you got to establish Kane as, A, uncontrollable, a monster, and, and most importantly, C, somebody that evokes fear. In his in his opposition and his opponents, but the world champion shouldn't be afraid of anything. He should be oh I, I'll take anybody on, especially if he's a babyface. I'll take you on anytime. You know one on one I can beat you. I thought that so was they bad. get they get to the back and uh, Daniel they've got the uh, they've got the car waiting, and uh, of course the car won't start right. So Daniel Bryan gets out and we see the most bad acting ever All in right. this segment. Daniel Bryan gets out and he goes. Bree, come he, on, Bree, hurry. Hurry, hurry. And that's better acting than, than Daniel did. And he goes yeah. and he opens the hood of the car and yeah. I don't There's know. There's a wire unplugged. There's a wire. Yeah. Tell, tell the story. No, 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 that's the story. Tell, tell the story. What's red? Oh, so you wanted the big payoff? I'm no, sorry. I'm just saying you're cutting me off like a motherfucker. <laughs> you told me to I mention it. <laughs> you time. told me right. to mention it. <laughs> you I'm trying to help you out on it. I'm not All right, so he gets out of the car and he pops open the hood, right? 
And he says, there's a wire missing. All right, said blah, 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 blah. Yes, Go you ahead. did, because you cut me off the <laughs> stage. But anyway, so he fixes the wire, <laughs> puts the wire back in. He plugs gets, it back in. Plugs it back in, gets back in the car. They're about to take off. While he's doing this, while he's fixing the wire, yes. Kane pops up from behind. He's in the back seat. He grabs uh, Brie Bella, right? Can I interrupt Brie you? Brie starts screaming. If you get into a car, yes, you and your wife, the, there's two people entering a car driver's seat passenger seat you're getting in the car you sit down he's seven feet tall Kane he's six yeah. ten whatever do you not notice there's a seven foot a guy, guy in, the in, back, the back seat. in the back seat it wasn't this big limo or so it was a fucking shit so car. so he, gets, yeah, he I'm gets, just looking at it from he realistic gets, he gets back in the car and yeah. Kane is on top of the car at this point right he gets well out, he pops get, up in the back seat pops up in the back seat Grand Spree Grand Spree yeah Brian gets him out of the car eventually, beats him down, right? Leaves him laying on the ground. Kane sits up, Kane sits up, and he gets back on That's top of the car. So he's on yeah. top of the car. Daniel Bryan, at this point, is in the driver's he seat. Accelerates. And accelerates. Yes. Kane falls off the back of the car. Now, if I'm Daniel Bryan and I'm the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and for some reason, I'm afraid of Kane, even though I'm the WWE World Heavyweight <laughs> Champion. I should accelerate Just that motherfucker. Going. And when he falls off, the keep fuck him. fucking going. Yeah. Fuck him. Leave him there. For some reason, Daniel stops the car, you know, gets out, and walks back to say, oh, are you okay? okay. You know, I went through my mind, and they never told this on commentary, and I, and I don't think they even acknowledge it, but they used to be a tag team for a very long time with the hugging segments and stuff. This was also shit that was going on when I wasn't watching, when I was doing MMA and not watching wrestling. But I'm, I'm aware of the fact that there was this long, I think it was like a full year of Kane and Daniel Bryan as like a, 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 a tag team, they were even tag team champions, then they were this comedy duo right. that was in counseling for forgot anger that. management didn't and stuff, cross my mind so I thought maybe he's like, there's part of him that still remembers the friend <coughs> of his, Kane, right. you know. Oh, maybe I fucking kill him. Oh shit! I know he's not at this point. I mean, that, I'm the, just saying the maybe he's that, thinking in his head like the, the, the Karen char- that he teamed with. Yeah, was not the monster. But I'm saying the character, the if he's if he kills the guy and he really thinks he's dead, I just hit him with my car. Maybe he's dead. Maybe there's a soft spot. You like, hit him with the car. He I'm just the saying back of the car. he's yeah. dead in the background. Whatever. He's, right. he's flat out. He, you don't know yeah. what happened. You know, you can't you can't tell what happened. But uh. All right, so he gets out of the car, and maybe there's this soft spot. Like, yo, I know he's a he's a sick son of a bitch now because he's got his mask back and this and that, but there's still part of me that remembers my buddy Kane. Uh. And let me see if he's okay. And they didn't explain that, and that would have been a perfect opportunity to explain that, especially with this program. Talking about Kane without the, the mask and Kane with the mask. Yes. A different person. Yes. yes. And they yes. haven't explained any back history of Daniel Bryan Kane. Like, they never had a history. With this storyline, no, but, but they Daniel, should be explaining it. It would make the, the fact right. that this storyline's happening. A lot of people are like, "What the fuck?" Daniel they Bryan should, and Kane. They should. You can't find a better main event guy to, to, to battle Bryan than Kane. Right. At least mention their history, and then maybe you could make it an interesting story. Because like, yo, these right. guys got history, and now they're you know. What uh? What you think about uh? Adam Rose's debut on uh, like Monday Night Raw? Did you like it? Yeah. All right. No I've heard a lot of people didn't. Uh, I th- I thought it was alright. You know, there was a lot of hype with uh, with Adam Rose coming in uh, last night to uh, Monday Night Raw. A lot of people on Twitter were really praising him, saying Rosebuds. I like his line about uh, "Don't be a lemon, don't be sour. Yeah, uh, be a rosebud. Yeah, be, be a buddy of Adam Rose. Right, right. So he's a partier. Comes out. Uh, looks like what they're gonna do is use local independent wrestlers. Um, Not you know, JTG. From- not JTG. Yeah. No. From uh, from city to city, when they go, they'll contact indie workers and people like that from the area. They'll have them come out and be the partiers and uh, and come out. But I like uh, how he gets on the ring and then he kind of falls back and crowd, crowd surfs. surfs. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, they should have him from the top of the ramp come down and crowd surf all the way down. That's dangerous, though. Yeah, you gotta yeah, trust the people catching you, man. I know, Especially right. if you're doing it on a regular basis. Right. How, right. I mean, how many times you do it before somebody fucks up and either <laughs> either doesn't catch you the proper way and you fall, or they catch you but like their fucking knuckles hit your kidney right. or something? Like you know, there's right. I'm doing things that could go wrong. What else? We had uh, there was another match. It was uh, our. You know what? When Daniel Bryan, I want to go back to this. Daniel Bryan was facing uh, Alberto Del Rio. Something with Daniel Bryan last night looked 
off to me, man. The way that he was, the way that he was working, I know it was a long match. It almost seemed like, and maybe it was due to the fact that he was trying to sell what happened the night before at Extreme Rules, where he was beat up from Kane. I didn't, I didn't they know. had that crazy match, but Daniel Bryan just was it a was it a physical thing? Because like I said, I'm not there the whole time. And but you aren't like either. Was, How do you catch all this shit? No, he didn't. It, he didn't look like he was Daniel Bryan. It just didn't look like. Something wasn't gelling. It almost looked like he was beat up and, and kind of hurting. I'll be right back. Like, like body. Oh, thank God. Where are you going? Oh, uh, you threw them? I thought they were empty. No, uh, I went to fucking, uh, I forget what I was doing, but I broke Same them. thing with uh, Rob Van Dam and Cesaro right. last night. Oh, we talked about this earlier, dude. RVD and Cesaro. Something doesn't gel there, right? Yeah, there's certain He's guys you do don't it. have chemistry with in the ring. Right. right. And, and it's funny because Cesaro and RVD, would, that would be a in your mind... You'd right. be like, yo, they would have great matches, you know? Right. Yeah, no doubt. You know, what did uh, you think about Bray Wyatt's promo last night on Raw, man? We talked about we, it a little bit earlier. Yeah, we talked about it But uh, it didn't make a lot of sense, but I thought I, he killed it, man. I mean, listen, we talk about it week after week, dude. To go out there in front of oh. 8,000, 10,000, 15,000 people and cut a promo Do we have like an attendance for... I would say, dude... 11? I mean, with Albany, it would be about 11,000... They that had was the a total entire, guess. Are you saying that? No, no, no. Because you're good with... It's not 11,000. It's not 11,000. No. They had the entire bottom bottom bowl yeah. tarped off, right? Or no, bottom no. bowl yeah. filled. And then they had the entire top almost filled, except for the one side. So I would say about 9,000 is, is where I'm going to... What's but the capacity? 11 or 12,000 oh, for okay. WWE. I was going to say there's 11,000 in there, but if, the, if it fills... Say about 9,000. If right? filled up, it's 11,000. Yeah. Really? They only hold yeah. 11,000 in time here? Uh, Look, for the raw depending setup. on the event, man. For the setup. Because you've got the Titan Tron. Which yeah, is and the whole... ramp and the ring. Right, right, yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. But, um, no, I, I didn't. Uh, what were we talking about? The Dan- uh, Bray Wyatt promo. The Bray Wyatt promo. No, I had said before we went to the break, nine times out of ten, Bray Wyatt doesn't make a lot of sense when he talks. Mm. But it sounds cool, so you think, oh, what a great promo. Right. He made more sense than usual last night, in my opinion. He did. It was more simple. It was easier to follow. There wasn't as many, oh, Sister Abigail says this, and, and, and off in the woods easy, I did that. Like, it was, it was easy easier to, to follow. Follow. The buzzards. Follow the buzzards. Yeah, there but either way, I'm just saying, it was... Are we taking calls yet? Uh, go ahead. Caller, you are live. I'm WZRTV. What's up? Ryan, Matt, what's going on, guys? How you doing, man? What's up? No, good. Hey, I know you guys just touched on it, but um, so the Kane and Daniel Bryan thing. Um, two quick things. So when Here. when they're first in, when they're first in the in the locker room, this was the first time that Daniel Bryan like almost seemed like he was agreeing with Stephanie. She's like, "Stay here." So he agrees. Okay, we're gonna stay put. And then I'm gonna have your car so that you guys can leave. So they go into the car, and then just as they're getting ready to leave, Stephanie's like, oh, but by the way, you can't leave because you have your match, and if you miss your match, I'm going to ship you up the title. Well, then why did you just tell him you're going to get his car and you yeah, can leave? And then you know like, what? oh, by the way, you have your match. I was I was and wondering that too, man. She should have done that. It was it was kind of out of order, man. I, I know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> well, he's, he, he's saying that, okay, Stephanie, yeah. Stephanie backstage had said that, I'm gonna go get your car. And yeah, I'll have it waiting. And then for you. when they get the and car, then, you got to go wrestle or you're fired. Oh, or oh by the way, by the way, you've got to go out so and, and have a match. So the question is, it was kind of out of order. Why would she say I'm gonna go get your car right, right now when you've got a match? It should have been I'll have yes. your car. Wait. She should have said something along the lines of I'll have your car. Go out there and have your match right now. I will have your car waiting when you get done. When you get done yeah. with your match, something like that. But she didn't say it last night. It was no. kind of it was kind of out of order, man. Yeah, so. no, that that's that's a case of bad writing. It's right. a case where you see her come right. back and say you should get it. She introduces the idea of because Kane's right. uncontrollable, maybe you should leave. Right. And and they're like, all right, you know, we'll leave. And when they go to, and I'll get your car. And then when they go to get in the car, she she stops them. I think that whole thing was done just for that one scene. <laughs> Where they're sitting in the car and and we're, back. and we're back. Sorry about that. I cut us. Uh, I cut us off. I was trying to get rid of the phone call, but instead I hit the stream. So you did my job and screwed everything up. Well, you gotta. We're trying to take. We got ten minutes left in the show. 
He wasn't talking was while I was saying anything. Ten minutes left in the <laughs> show. I was, you know how I do. So I'm trying I to get, hang up when we're done. So I'm trying to get rid of the callers and then get into rapid fire because there are over 20 rapid fire questions. We got 10 minutes to do it. And I know that we can't get through rapid fire in 10 minutes. And I have to be out of here, dude. I got six posts that are five posts that got to go up on the website plus SmackDown spoilers. I'm sick as fuck. I want to get out of here. I want it to be an early uh. night. So I'm trying to get out of here. So with that being said... Let's get through rapid fire. For the archive, we'll piece things together and... We'll Hopefully, I don't know if Humphreys can do that. He can do it, dude. He's he's good on everything. So, he knows how to take a video and upload it to YouTube. I don't do, know if he knows how to... Can we do this in like one or two <coughs> lines, dude? You know what do I mean? What? One or two sentences, like rapid reply fire. to these, yes. Let's try. In like yeah. nine or ten minutes. Give me an this. angle on your computer. I can't read. All right. right. Here we go, dude. Yeah. So there goes went down for the count. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Motherfucker. Just dog. make sure we are uh, we we are back here. All right. Here we go. So, are we back? we're back on the air, right? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right. There's what are there. the rumored matches for payback from Anthony Rennie? There's three of them. No, I've got Adam Rose, Jack Swagger. Oh, there's four of them. I've got Evolution, Shield. Correct. I've got uh, Daniel Bryan Kane, Buried Alive. And Cena Wyatt. Cena Wyatt, and we're probably looking at another um, big, not Big E Barrett. There's another RVD Cesaro's. RVD Cesaro's. And probably then Swagger. Gonna... Swagger's the opponent for Rose. Did right. I say that? Okay. So those Swagger are the matches and, uh, that we know so far. Right. No doubt. Not for a fact, but those are the plans. Those are the rumors. And they matches. could change, yeah. So there you go. There's uh, four of them. Kevin M. Epper Jesse says Any update on Sting? And also, just want to say, feel better and don't rush with the news. We uh, all can wait. He can't, though. He's got a lot of work to do. Uh, the latest update on Sting is there is no update. The last we heard, he's... I don't know if he's officially put pen on paper yet, but he's... he's consider him part of the family. Consider it very 99% likely he's working WrestleMania 31. We don't have an opponent yet, but... uh. Yeah, that's the story. Tim Krager, any news, any new planned original content for the network? And I don't see Rusev lasting long. He seems to be getting no real reaction. You know what? Rusev, I think, is going to be one of those guys that comes in and is just another... They try it first, and they then try it first. they give up on him. And, and, I'll, and on SmackDown last week, it's uh -huh. very worth noting, he had a match with, I don't know if it was Xavier Woods or R-Truth or both or whatever... They had the match. It was so bad, they had him go out and redo it. Really? Really? Yeah, they had Same him go thing. out and redo it so that they could edit the first one out and say, that that was that bad that we can't even use it. Can't Get out there, it. do it again. And what was up with uh, Kofi getting a lot of offense in against Rusev? He didn't get that much run. offense. There's been a couple matches where they let guys get 45 <laughs> seconds of offense, and they can take him off his feet. Right. With something massive. If they try and drop kick him, he stumbles. If they right. try and clothesline him off the ropes, he stumbles. Right. But then they go to the top, cross body, he goes That's down. Right. right. Yeah, so right. Uh, that wasn't, there's nothing to, to read too much into that. Dustin Hargis Hargis says, get well soon, Ryan. Thank you, bro. We'll be good to go, man. Uh, Paul Velasquez, thought Extreme Rules was I'm a great sick show. too, by the way, you fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah. I think, to be honest with you guys, I think he's about to get what I get. Because yesterday... I think you got what I got, but all right. You know what? Yeah, you had it a... a I've had it for right? about a week. Yeah, I Yo, just don't bitch all the time. Bro, yesterday it started coming on, and then when I woke up this morning, I said, man... Oh, man. <laughs> he tells me to hurry. <laughs> Paul Velasquez. Thought ex <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Velasquez. Thought Extreme it. Rules. It was a great show. You, you have an... <laughs> you have, you haven't interrupted me at all tonight. No, I, I meant just now. I, I hate you. Yeah, I'm not denying that. All right, Paul Velasquez. Thought Extreme Rules was a great show and Raw was good. Definitely had the spotlight on the young and the newer stars. Anyways, thoughts on... Steve Miocic now facing... Um, go ahead. Fabio Mal... It's a UFC question, right? Maldonado. Instead of Junior Dos Santos, since Junior Dos Santos broke his hand in training and Junior Dos Santos... Now, sideline, huh? do you think Alistair Overstrain, Overstrain? Will, will magically heal up from his quote-unquote ribbon? Oh, right? that's right. Overstrain kind of plays games, doesn't he, man? 
So the story was w, uh, w, UFC wanted to do Junior Dos Santos and Alistair Overstream. Okay. Overstream basically ducked the fight. Ducked Long story it. short, he said he's injured, he can't do it, but he was willing to fight Brock, but when they said Junior Dos Santos, all injured. Okay. So they did Junior Dos Santos, Steve Amiocic, and that was supposed to be the main event of an upcoming show. Junior Dos Santos is just, just like yesterday, the day before it got injured, that fight's canceled. So now, and I didn't wow. even know this, this guy, Paul Velasquez, just informed me, I guess it's now Steve Amiocic and Fabio Maldonado, uh, who I know, and he's a good fighter, but that's not a main event by not any a main means. Event. That's going to main event a pay-per-view? Uh, not a pay-per-view, it's oh, the okay. uh, Fox Sports 1 hey. show. Uh, Mayweather and Maidana, real quick. Uh, did I not tell you when the fight was over? I was getting ready to go back in my room and I said, because we have to watch it in his room because my, my computer sucks for streams. We actually watched it out on the uh, big screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, either way, when but I was anyways. getting ready to go back in my room, I said, because we were talking and we're debating and we're talking, oh, what a great fight and what a thing. Mayweather almost lost this and that. Who's giving and Mayweather the, and that the much undercard, of a challenge? And the undercard, Adrian Broner, Amir Khan, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. yo, we're talking yeah. about all this stuff for fucking ever. And I said, watch, when Tuesday night rolls around, we won't even fucking mention it. I, Here we are, three seconds before we go off the air. I want to mention it, it though. You did bring it up. I brought it up. bring it up. Hey, what, what's the who question? Has, who has given Mayweather that One guy. much of a fight? Two guys, technically. Um, One guy. You, we talked about it. Who, um, Jose Luis Castillo yes, yes. gave Mayweather a fight. They, fought, right. I think they fought twice. I want to say I don't know that for a fact because I have a very bad memory. But I, remember, I can vividly remember one Did fight you know? where they had a close fight and it was a close decision. Right. Mosley, Sugar Shane Mosley, almost him. knocked him out. Yeah, I rocked him bad that. once, and then Mayweather recovered. Did and you know beat the fuck out of him? But that Lil Wayne, the rapper who was in the corner of Mayweather, and he sang him to the ring. Dude, he tried to fight. Maidana's trainer after it was over I did in not the know lobby. That. I got a video no, of it. I, did I not gotta know show that. you. Oh, you got a video of it? I got a video. Really? TMZ put the video on it. It's that. on YouTube, yeah. Uh, All right, here we go. Five minutes. We'll give him five minutes extra. I'm, extra. I can go as long as you want. I you know said you dude's doing spoilers, so I don't need it. I hope he can piece this together. Good. That was my. Listen, before Boone goes on, that was my bad. Two archives, just put two links up. But, uh, I'm, I'm hoping so. That was my bad. I tried to. To X out the you call. You took my job from me and fucked Booga, up. Booga mad at me, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, with reason. With reason. It was, Groove Maddox uh, says, do you think that the tweets that roll across the bottom of the screen during Raw from viewers are just company planted tweets for good TV? Seem like it, don't they? Has anyone looked these profiles up before? Like, looked up the names? Um, they all seem like generic tweets and have generic handles like at Y2JGirl35 or at 18 Kane fans, 7. They all praise WWE, you know? They well, I can see them picking positive tweets out. Yeah. And you would have to think they have to be legitimate. Or, yeah, let's put it this way. Maybe they're fake accounts, but they're controlled by guys that are sitting there behind the scenes at Raw. Like, let me type this so that you can stream it. And, and if people check, it's legit, you know. If, uh, you, if you go to WWE. I guess. If oh. you go to WWE.com and if you go to WWE's Facebook page, you do see a lot of people that think pro wrestling is real. And they love John Cena and they think that everything that WWE. That there's enough does, kids that tweet and Facebook. There are enough people out there you that could think. Pick and choose. They, they, only, think they only scroll like six tweets. Sorry to interrupt. Right. But yeah. they, you're right, though. Man, yeah. They only, they only a show a few. Of, so and it's they, easy to pick out of 10,000 tweets for Raw. Yeah, absolutely. Here's a few good oh, ones. 10,000 yeah. millions. Probably yeah. millions during and Raw. And some people. But, Direct their tweets. They write them in a way where, oh, if I kiss their ass or write the right, maybe I'll be on TV. They're gonna, they're gonna use me on yeah. television, right? And there's so many people. Go to WWE's Facebook page, and you guys will be amazed at the stupidity of That's um, some people. <laughs> like uh, Macaulay Culkin, Home Alone. <laughs> All right, we got uh, John Morgan. When is Ryan gonna take Teresa out on a date? Teresa? The Teresa Baker chick. That's her right there. She loves you. Teresa Baker? Yeah, she's in love Let with you. Let me go on a date, Teresa. Let me go on a date. Throw a little dick at her. <laughs> what? Is it, uh... <laughs> did you skip... Uh, <laughs> Anthony Remy. Anthony Remy says, Do you think John Cena will ever turn heel? And if they do, do you think... It's hard to... Do you think it would be good for WWE? John Cena and... Who? Superman? Superman. John Cena is Superman, Superman to kids. kids. And John Cena is Superman to kids, 
And how do you think the kids will react? WWE shouldn't turn John Cena heel unless there is another wrestler that kids can look up to. Basically, to take it's place. all about merchandise. Man. We tell you, it's not all about merchandise. That's a big piece of the pie. There's also there's a lot of promotional. There's a lot of financial reasons why. Yes, you shouldn't turn right. the guy that appeals to kids the most and the guy that appeals to girls the most or whatever uh, heel. But we talked about this a couple weeks ago. And I'll keep it very brief. Hulk Hogan. Name a guy that appealed to kids more than Hulkamania and Hulk Hogan. And they turned him heel. You turned him heel, and it was maybe heel. arguably the biggest thing in his career because right. that was the one thing mixed with a couple of other components that that made WWF for the first time since their big national expansion lose to another com- company, which was WCW and the NWO, and, and Hulk Hogan was the the, the guy for all. Teresa Baker with a love sign. Alex. Renzkowski, what did you think of the Mayweather fights? Talked about that. Yeah. Let me give one more. Christopher Brown, what do you think about Mick Foley's tweets concerning Daniel Bryan's future turning out like Zack Ryder? If certain clueless WWE higher ups think the yes is more over than Daniel Bryan is, I didn't read Mick it. Foley came out first of that all. That was my big the, argument, real quick. Hmm? Was that the yes chant? And you remember was. That was just something people liked doing. It wasn't a reflection on, we love Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan so much right. that we're doing this. That's why right. we're so passionate about it. But I've changed my opinion on that. They, even, they love that guy. Even if they're doing the yes chants and things like yeah. that, it's still, it's his gimmick. He's the guy yeah. that they're doing the yes chants yes. to. And That's a good all, point. It's all because of him. So yeah, if even it even, him, there'd be no yes chants. Yeah, and even if he wasn't the reason that that's so over... Right. That's the guy who does it. So if you want that to be a part of your thing, we well, you have Sheamus go out there and start doing Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was going to say, what are you going to have? Ziggler go out there? Yeah, and yet, so you know? you're right. It should be Daniel right. Bryan. And, and he, but they really um, seem to be pushing him in a way where they're not even pushing him. He's running from Kane. He's, you know what I mean? Like Foley, Foley as well. Uh, you know, Foley said that basically he thinks that if they're not careful with the Daniel Bryan booking, he told Bryan he could, could turn shit down. He could he could turn into well, he told WWE if they're not careful with the booking, it's going to turn into the next Zack Ryder. And to be honest with you, uh, back, back to Adam Rose. Good idea, good point. Yeah. Adam Rose. I think yeah. Adam Rose is going to be popular at first, and this guy's the next Fandango. I that cross. I swear to God, that crossed my mind last night. He's we, the next we were Fandango talking around. about it. A couple of weeks ago, before he debuted, when the vignettes first started airing, and I said, "Yo, I think this guy is going to have this big cult following." Where he's he only he, there's a certain segment of the audience that he's going to be fucking monster right. over with. Right. After seeing him last night, because I'd only seen the vignettes, I didn't. Want, I don't watch NXT, so this is the first time I really got to see the whole thing. That and I'm like, going to get over. I'm like, man, I, there's still part of me that thinks that he, there's a there's a cult following that'll get over and mm-hmm. it'll grow and grow and grow. Right. And, and it sounded over last night from the Albany crowd doing singing along with his theme song. There's a good chance he could become a douchebag comedy segment that, that gets yeah. reduced, to, like or Santino or something like that, like where he's just a jerk off. I agree, and and I, and I, I hope agree. not because it seems like a very modern, current age. People like to party. That's why Jersey Shore. Yeah, shows but, and like there's that a lot of kids popular. that like to do Molly or Ecstasy, or, and right. I think it would catch on with that kind of. Think so. I think so. That was right. my uh, initial thing. We Where are we at, at uh, Jason? I'm surprised. You got a long one, bro. Jason Hansen says, I'm surprised you guys didn't go to Raw last night. I noticed whenever there's a show in Albany or near or nearby, that's one word, by the way, Jason, or nearby, <laughs> WWE or ROH, Ryan Grammar always. police. I, it made me sound stupid reading it. Or R- Rank always claims, yeah, we're going, quote unquote. But when it comes to going, y'all never go. Yeah, that's right. Since I've been here, we were supposed to go to ROH. We were supposed to go to Raw. We didn't go to the fucking one of them. Uh, I agree with Jason Hanson on that one, you son of a bitch. Uh, but uh, he says, LOL. Got no comeback, man. My question tonight is, why don't people give new gimmicks a chance? Adam Rose, a prime example. Then, the same people bitch and moan when WWE pulled the plug because it was people like them who didn't support a wrestler who was given the chance. Don't be a lemon. Be a rose. Be a rose, rose bud. Yeah. I don't, know I'm the, not I don't even know what the question is me. there. What, what's the question? Don't be a lemon. Be a rose, bud. Uh, you got it. It's a new gym. What were your thoughts on the young Connor the Crusher? I didn't um, see this, but I hear it's so touching man. and everything. 
Ah. Is it very sentimental and like make you want to cry? Stephanie kind of thing? McMahon is in the video. She is crying at the end. She is just. What's the story totally on Connor? Is he? He's a right. Make a Wish kid, but what's his deal? Is Connor, he dying? Connor is uh, a Make a Wish kid that had all. The only thing he wanted to do was meet Daniel Bryan. Is this when I said Connor McGregor the other week? Is this the guy you were? Yes. Because I said Connor McGregor. He said, I thought that's it's a Make a Wish McGregor, kid. It's not McGregor. It's something else. Whatever. Um, it's Connor. Mc- McCallick or something. McCallick. But no, no, when I said Conor McGregor, you said, no, that's a that's a Make-A-Wish kid, so that's the who you were talking right, about. Right, yeah. right, right. By the way, Conor McGregor and Cole Miller on Errol Hawani's show got into this big they fucking think. thing. It's so great. Let me just, They're going to fight each other. Let me just run this down real quick, forth. man, yeah, it's such a touching uh, I got to watch this. WWE released a video today, and uh, Conor was a kid... Uh, his nickname was Stone Crusher. We talked about the that thing last Crusher. week or, yeah. or the week before. You did. All yeah. he wanted to do was meet Daniel Bryan, and uh, you know he was able to Made meet. Tap out he was able to meet Daniel, and WWE released a, a tribute video today where he was able to did meet he die? Daniel. Passed away. Uh, oh. He was able to meet uh, Daniel, and uh, then went. You know, they had him backstage at either WrestleMania or Raw. Both. They had all the talents, both all the talents around the ring. Daniel Bryan's music hit, and Daniel brought yeah. Connor to the ring. They walked down in the stage. I heard about it. I haven't seen it. And Did all they show the guys, it? All the guys cool. were around the ring doing the yes, yes, yes That's thing. That's awesome. Connor, dude, the smile on this kid's face was ridiculous. Stephanie McMahon was saying that anybody that had the opportunity to meet this Connor kid would have fallen in love with him. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And, uh, you know, they've got his father in the video. WWE released a tribute video. Stephanie McMahon is just, can barely talk uh, in the video with tears and everything else. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty... That description sold it, It is yeah. a, uh, I'm gonna, I'll send you the I, No, I know where it is. But, uh, I, just, I, I knew, and I, and I almost watched it earlier, but I got tied up with something else. What are my thoughts? Rest in peace to, uh... My Stone thoughts Crusher, are it man. sounds so fucking sad it makes me want to cry. But rest uh, in peace to the Stone Crusher. Yeah, sure Lance. He's Lance representing up there. Yeah, that right? really makes that really made me sad. Oh god, I hope we're done soon. Lance yeah, Winter no. says uh, it just changed. You know, sometimes yeah, especially when you're drinking, your mood to, can go from here to here. I just I did that. Lance I Winter says, "Do you guys think the Daniel Bryan Kane backstage stuff at uh, sure. Extreme Rules was pre-taped? Looked badly edited to it me. It did, man. When they were backstage, Which and stuff? they were fighting backstage, man, and then he put them on the oh. forklift, and then Daniel drove it to the ring, man. It didn't it cross looked, my mind, but I don't watch did. a lot of it, so I can't tell you. I put it up on Facebook that a lot of that stuff looked pre-taped, that, yeah. where even Daniel Bryan wasn't sweating, okay? And he was sweating when they went backstage. He had some sweat, right? And then... When they came, when yeah, they were backstage. Do you have a guess as to why maybe they would have done it based on what they did? Well, there was a lot of stuff backstage. Like, like oh, we couldn't forklift. do this live in case something went wrong here. They had the forklift backstage, and I'm sure that, you know, I mean, driving a forklift and putting a pallet on it and everything else and getting Kane out of that pallet, if everything doesn't go That's what perfect you used to do it, uh, on the live take at Home Depot. At Home Depot, we got, got fired, fired, man. We got fired, man. Oh, um, Nelson says. Nelson. Why can a wrestler pin in a cage match? I'll never understand that. Should be escape only. I agree with I that. I agree. I agree What's with that. What's the fucking point of a cage match if you can still do a pin? It should be right. you have to get out of that cage. Uh, Pat Turner, did Paul Heyman know about Brock Lesnar WrestleMania win ahead of time? Yes. Shawn Michaels is going to have a lot of details. I think he's going to appear on Jim Ross's gear. It's probably You're available right Rock now Rock. at podcast1.com. Jim Ross said 6 p.m. Central Time. That okay, would be... So, I thought it was Wednesday, not Tuesday. No, it's, it usually comes out like midnight on a Tuesday night. All right, well... But he said, he said about? on Twitter, he said 6 p.m. Central Time Tell today. me what you're talking about. Jim Ross is going to have Shawn, Shawn Michaels, Michaels on his show. Yeah, I didn't know this was part of and the streak thing. What, well, what he's the hell does teasing, that have to do? He's teasing... Uh, Jim Ross is teasing that Shawn Michaels is going to appear on his podcast and yeah. it's going to be Supposedly this is like a fucking interview you have to hear. He's going to reveal big news regarding The Undertaker versus the Brock Lesnar okay. match at WrestleMania. Shawn was apparently standing right next to Vince McMahon and Triple H when The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar match had finished. <clears throat> and Shawn knows the reaction that both Vince and Triple H had to the crowd. Yeah. Sean's going to come on Jim's podcast and reveal what the reaction as was. As soon as we go off the air, I'm listening to it, because I'm sure it's up now. But um, He's been promoting the hell out of it. What was his question? He wants to Did know Paul Heyman know him. ahead of time uh, that, that Undertaker, or that Brock was winning? Yes. He he, well, yeah. Not only that, but yeah. Paul, Paul kept saying, There was saying, very few people that knew, though. 
<clears throat> Paul Heyman knew, Brock Lesnar knew, Undertaker knew, the referee didn't know. Oh, so that's oh. how... The referee didn't know. That's how few people knew. Oh, right. Okay. Um, we got. We're gonna take Ooh. three more here. We're gonna take three more, and then we'll go off the air. If you didn't get your question in tonight, we will come back and answer all your questions next week on WZR TV. All right, brother. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Uh, where we leave off, Ryan, uh, Steve Williams, Ryan, LOL, LOL. Ha ha ha. You need to watch movies, bro. You were missing some great stuff from you horror really are. films to action films. You yeah. really are missing some cool shit. Anthony Remy, and thank you again, Ryan, for posting the video I sent in the Extreme Rules where people were singing John Cena's I posted songs. that. Uh, there was a video on YouTube that I put yeah, up. AC on, on emailed it to me. Okay. So I posted it. All right. Vincent Nugent, a.k.a. Acer. Says, have you guys heard about AJ Styles winning the IWGP Heavyweight Championship from this past Saturday's New Japan Pro Wrestling Donut? How do you the pay per view in Dun New York City. Duntaku, Duntaku. I don't know how to say that. I pay per view. They had, event to, uh, they had to change the card for the New Japan uh, yeah. uh, Pro Wrestling Ring of Honor events. They had to change the yeah. card because AJ Styles had won the. I wrote uh, about it, but I don't know how to right. pronounce a lot of that shit. But uh, AJ Styles will be defending it against Michael Elgin. Elgin, Elgin or Elgin? Elgin. Jin or Gin? Elgin. That's what I said. Okay, so AJ Styles versus Michael Elgin at the World. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Right. 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 Yeah. There's a double shoot this weekend. One's in Toronto, one's in New York yeah. City. He would know. Uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling and Ring of Honor doing combined shows. There you go. Uh, Ryan Shop Touch. Any was, update on the Hardcore Road Trip stuff? Uh, nothing. No, uh, yeah. Hardcore Road Trip, the uh, Mark Livingston, the promoter, cannot be found. Still. They deleted, they deleted the Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, we mentioned no last sign. Week. I didn't know if there was anything. No new. sign. Okay. No so sign. He's still that. hiding. Ryan Shoptar, Ryan and Boom, what do you think about uh, Sting debut at the Royal Rumble, setting him up a match no. with Brock Lesnar? Yeah, Not you're looking at 2015, man. That's way too far out. Uh, Jose Luis, uh, will WWE take the title off Daniel Bryan now said. with ratings and WWE stock drop? I'm trying to get people that we yeah, haven't taken it's before. It's a quick, easy question. Well, uh, Vincent Nugent says, what do you guys think about David Benoit, Chris Benoit's son, making his professional wrestling debut in the near future? I think that he's going to A it. Can never use the name Benoit. Right, right. And B, yeah, he's got a tough road. And it's w not w fair because he not didn't. Take and he's gonna take it. He's like Boone said. He's gonna have a tough road. He, yeah, it's not fair either because he didn't do nothing. So yeah, that sucks. Uh, Turbo Velasquez Jr. says, "Will Paul Heyman have any more guys join his stable besides Cesaro?" Uh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you? David Benoit has no chance in WWE. They don't want to be associated with that with name. Benoit yeah. name, even though. And that's that's, could, that's not that's not fair. They could give him a completely different name, but the fact is, it's is that people are going to know that that's Chris Benoit's son. It will be, yeah, it'll come to light. And I don't think WWE media. wants anything Dude, to do with they don't, that. They don't. So he's basically screwed. He's damn near blackballed from WWE for right. life, even though he didn't do anything. Even though his he last didn't do name anything. has him banned from that company. His last name, they're not going to take him because the media would pick It'll up on him and say, "Hey, this guy is Chris Benoit's son." They don't want that. And it'd be a damn shame if he turns out to be like a fucking phenomenal be a talent. wrestler. Yeah. Right, right. But and you would think with the genes, and I don't know if wrestling has any genetic inner, inner ties, but uh Blackball from WWE, this dude right here has said it best. I think I think you're right. You never know, man. You're right. Jose Luis Lewis Will WWE take the title off of Daniel Bryan now with ratings and WWE stock dropping? Ratings aren't dropping. First of all, raw rating came out last night. Well, the final rating's not. It's out. gonna be three zero or three two or, or, or three one. one. Yeah, three but um, because we got the viewership and it wasn't that bad at all. Right. Um, so you can't and well, a it was down four hundred thousand people from last week. It, and this was roughly. a post pay per view show, man. But can you blame Daniel Bryan who wasn't on TV a lot at all through the? Through they the, had. Uh, let me say this. And was Extreme Rules built around Daniel Bryan? No. 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 Well, he was the third <laughs> most important match. You had from Evolution Shield number one, right? John Cena, Bray Wyatt number, number two, two, Daniel Bryan, Kane and number three, the and he's the champ. Right. And, and he's running that. away from Kane on all the next night. They're not giving him a chance to they're be not. the guy. They're absolutely and the crowd not. clearly is saying he's our guy. They want him, but WWE is doing. That's a whole show. We shouldn't even start crazy. that topic. We shouldn't even start no. that. But by the way, I. 
WWE went head-to-head with the NHL and NBA playoffs last night. Big games with the playoffs. Not only that, but CBS, ABC, and NBC all had season finales of major yeah, shows sitcoms. on their networks. So dramas. it was last night was one of the toughest nights for television. Competitively uh, it was very busy. Competitively it was ridiculous. Nobody had the the unfortunate task of going up against the was it against Kentucky Derby? Whoa, 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 what was the worst <laughs> race we watched? Who doesn't that? love the Kentucky Derby? <laughs> I fucking didn't give a shit. He was all excited. His sister was all excited. I was like, what the fuck? When you're there live and you got money on the races, when they come around that last turn, it's like, oh shit, I'm either winning or losing. When there's no money on the line and you're sitting there watching on TV, it's just horses running in a circle. (laughs) Horse racing is I don't get it, but they were fucking way into it. California Chrome for the win. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Danza was another one. Well, he, he, some reason he, he he made that my horse. I love sports. Man. I don't know I anything sports. about any of the horses. He's just he's telling his sister, "Yo, boom." Because you're it. into the Godfather movies Boone's and all that. Stuff. Danza? I know Danza wasn't in the Godfather movies, but Tony Danza he's, who's is the a guy. Boss? Tony, Danza Tony Danza is a guy that could be in a movie like The Godfather. He's Italian. He's Italian. Tony Danza is Italian. He could be. What's in, the next question, man? He What's could up? be in one of those. Could you not see Tony Danza? Tony Danza the is role? the star of Who's the Boss? He's the, the star of Who's the Boss. But could Alyssa you not? Alyssa Milano is hot as shit, though. With his way. accent, with Tony Danza's accent, could you not see him? He clearly, yeah. Don't make me look like a moron. No, he's clearly Italian. He could be in a movie such <laughs> as. He's such a as the Godfather or somebody like that. Could Tony Danza be in the Godfather? Maybe not the Godfather, but a no. movie that's filled with Italians. Is he Scarface? an Italian guy? Scarface? Sure. Yeah. Can you, you, you give Scarface? me Scarface? No, that, that was, that was uh, Puerto Ricans or Mexican. Puerto Ricans? Yeah, yeah, give yeah, me yeah. a movie that's Or no, that was Italians. Colombians. Or, or, uh, what the fuck was it? Give I me a know. movie with Italians that Tony Danza could be in. Name a, uh, uh, analyze this. You're not gonna give me it. Analyze this, analyze Tony that. Tony Danza could be in one of the Analyze movies. this, analyze that. All right, it's a movie this. about Italian gangsters, but it's an Italian, the, 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 uh, head of the gangster crew or whatever. Right. Sees a shrink. Okay. So he's got the, and he cries and he's falling apart and it's, it's Robert De Niro right. and it's Let me Billy rephrase Crystal. this. But me... he could be in it because it's comedy. That what? was a comedy Italian movie. Tony Danza could be in a comedy. He was in. Uh, Tony Danza. He was in. He was in Taxi, the TV show. <coughs> Tony Danza could comedy. play a comedy he a role. Boxer. He could play a serious role. Basically, the the I guess let me rephrase this. Tony Danza could be in a movie about gangsters. No. He could be in a movie about gangsters. Tony Danza. Bro, I just gave the, you an out. He's got the accent. He's got. He's he's. I think he's got the skill. I think he's got the accent. He could be in a movie about gangsters. I gave You've you the seen out. Him on Who's the Boss, dude? You don't think that he could change his who's the boss character? If you watch that character serious, and say, yo, would anybody take that serious? Would they pay to watch him be serious? So the, Rock, get, the Rock's been in movies such as... But people you know, get typecasted. If you're on Seinfeld, if you're George on Seinfeld, you're not going to get taken seriously in a movie. You're George. You're the fucking funny it's guy on numerous Seinfeld. times. Who's the you're boss is a big show, and he was the guy on it. He's typecasted, so for uh, him to transition into being Will a serious Ferrell's gangster... Will Ferrell's been in serious movies. He's not... Oh, he's not? Name comedy. one serious movie he's been in. He's been I don't watch movies, but he's, he's been, been in... He's uh, been in uh, 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 Stranger Than Fiction, <clears throat> and everything must go. And those were technically serious. David were, Hadley wants to know... They were still our, funny. Are you and I lovers? Are yeah, we love each other. Can't stand this motherfucker. I love you. Can't fucking stand you. I hate you. All right. Yeah. We're not gay, though, if that's the question. We're not gay. No. Fuck he never gets laid, but, you know, we're not gay. Oh, yeah. when's the last time you got laid? Not since I've been here, because you don't do Jose anything. Lewis, is Dixie yeah. really a demon in the sack? Dixie? Dixie Carter. How the fuck do I know? A demon in the sack? You're talking about getting laid. She looks like uh, more of a... Although, I will say, since she's been a heel on TV, I could picture her being a little more uh, entertaining. You think so? In the sack. Yeah, at first she seemed like the very vanilla, boring, she's just going to lay there, you know, that kind of <coughs> thing. But since she's been so. a heel, she seems more, she seems more, uh, what's the word, not dominant, but um, forceful or... Uh, I think I think Dixie's the type that says, it hurts, it hurts, stop, 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 not so hard, not so hard. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about there, man. Uh, She's like 50 years old. It still hurts. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? 
<laughs> but anyways, that's our show, right? We're Are we here. done? We're All out right. of here. We're out. I gave you 22 extra minutes tonight. Me. You gave the fans 22 I gave extra you minutes. 22 extra minutes because you wanted to go long. I gave the fans I wanted to cover 22. everything. Yeah, I don't care how long Did we Did we get everything? We got Rapid Fire. Yeah. Covered Raw. Huh? Stream Rules. Huh? Mayweather. Huh? That was it. And news and stuff. Yeah. That's it. We're out. We didn't take a lot of callers, though. We should have taken more callers. No calls. What are no you going to do? We can't get everything in. Right. We had extreme... We had Here's a quarter. Call rock. somebody who cares. What are you playing on the way out? Song? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I play whoa, the whole same whoa, uh, start whoa, whoa, from the bottom. We got a thing song. Come on, that gets... Oh, is it? Is that what we do every week? I like to have something that people think of. Like, oh, there's the end of the show. There's that song. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Hey. Four! Boy. Are you not going to do plugs for feedback and all this stuff that we normally do? Or? Yeah, we can do that. Are you drunk? Facebook.com, a little bit. Well, me too. <laughs> You've been drunk since the time we came out I was drunk. I was buzzed, though, yeah. <laughs> I would say you can clarify I want you to go back and watch right the first part of the archive tonight, man. I will. Go back and watch it. Hey, listen, uh, I was honest last week. I, I had to turn it off. I was so disgusted with myself. disgusted for cutting me off. Yeah. Did this man cut me off earlier tonight? Many, Let us know where. Many a times. Let us know in the chat room right now oh, or Facebook. on Facebook.com yeah. slash Ryan Clark WCR or Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WCR. He puts up a food bag. Feed, food bag. He puts a, we got to get out of here. A feedback post as well. Matt, Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WCR or Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WCR. We both put up Facebook. Feedback. We want your feedback from tonight's WZR TV. We're out here. We'll see you guys next Tuesday night at 8 to 10 Eastern Time. WZRonline.com. What are you typing? I'm getting ready to for yeah, for Matt Boone. That's me. <laughs> this is Ryan Clark. What's that fucking guy right there? <laughs> see you next Tuesday night. Eight to ten Eastern time on WZRonline.com. Get that chick the D. Start it. See you next week, guys. Oh, no.